Well, apparently caught an apparition going to the neighbor's house, going left to right by the trash cans. And in the middle of the driveway, this figure or apparition a ghost sighting caught on a home security camera as a small neighborhood in Paragold, Arkansas worried something paranormal is on their block. There it is. Walking. No legs. And she disappears. The mysterious figure never returns after its disappearing act. It's not a neighbor, they say, because the neighbors were on vacation. They've never caught any other weird things on camera since and other than that one night. The home security system seems to work fine. I guess there is a chance that this could be a technical malfunction, but to them it's a scary ghost video that's actually real. Having seen all of the evidence yourself, tell me if this video is paranormal. I think it could be a glitch, but I don't have the technical know-how to properly back up that explanation. You might want to rethink booking that Airbnb after seeing this scary video posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit. By Lemonisa, the redditor writes that spooky sounds during the first night in this rental home in Norway kept waking her and her partner. This prompted her to start recording. This is what she captured. In an upper slanted window facing the living room, a mysterious white anomaly appears. After a moment, the anomaly slowly fades away before completely vanishing. It's not clear if the figure is beyond the window looking in, or something inside the house is being reflected. Some in the comments think it looks extraterrestrial. Others say it looks like a face or hand pressed against the glass. The Redditor mentions in the comments that this house was haunted. She says that they'd be sitting in the living room and would hear random things fall from the counter and strange noises from the basement. She notes that this first night in the home was especially creepy. Would you have the courage to remain a second night in the house if you saw this in the window? I sure wouldn't. GeoMeo9 is a YouTuber who claims to have bought an old photo that comes with a worrisome curse. He doubted the legend at first but soon found it to be true with his own eyes. I could be wrong but this kind of looks like the hologram photos you can buy at certain gift stores. But then again, GeoMeo9 uploaded this video in 2006 and I'm not even sure they were made back then. Maybe someone can let me know in the comments section. A motorcycle vlog turns paranormal when a man in India goes exploring down a long haunted cemetery road. His dash cam refuses to focus as he rides past the cemetery gates. So strong is the paranormal energy, he thinks he made a big mistake coming down here. And based on what happens next, I'd say he was right. Their lights chance upon a lone figure wearing a dress. There's no reason for anyone to be on foot out here at this hour. No flashlight or any source of light. Minutes away from a haunted cemetery. The figure is not a tree and appears to be stepping first towards and then away from them. I suppose it could be a pedestrian, but like I said, why someone would be roaming this eerie place is anyone's guess. A flying ghost has been caught on home CCTV video, claims a man in India who uploaded this bizarre late night sighting. A pure white object briefly pokes out of the woods. The supposed ghost video is low resolution and could be almost anything from a flashlight to wildlife. It looks weird, but I'm not exactly convinced he didn't just throw something himself. Watch the left side of your screen for something creepy. A large figure is bouncing up and down at the side of the road trying to get their attention. 
What they see when they drive past leaves them creeped out for life. This screenshot taken at exactly 7 seconds shows a weird fish-like head turning one oversized eye towards the camera for a closer look. I was thinking this could be like a company mascot or something, but they aren't standing in front of a business and they aren't holding a sign. Has this car full of friends caught an authentic unknown creature sighting on camera like they claim? I wish they would have driven back around for another look, but I can understand them not wanting to risk it. Kazi is with Danny Dorito and Ali H to find evidence of a spirit that they think is haunting not just this house, but most of the surrounding forest as well. They come across a ritual that someone left behind for some reason, possibly in a hurry. They figure out how to complete it and hear a noise shortly after reciting these ancient words, which I'm hoping someone who who happens to practice magic might be able to recognize and tell us more. Rolf, Niap, Ro. Oh they decide to leave everything behind and are well on their way back home when something ahead interrupts their hike. Hello. Holy! You saw that, right? You saw. At four minutes, I can see what appears to be a normal pair of white tennis shoes that kind of looks out of place, so I'm not exactly convinced that this is real. A terrible demon has set up shop in this house, and Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal is about to face its wrath. The demon first makes its presence known in the wardrobe. With his nerves on edge, Dennis asks the demon to reveal himself. <laughs> then things get real creepy. Moments later, the demon's face appears on Dennis's camera, after which this happens. <laughs> The demon has definitely been released, and if I were Dennis, I'd be careful. It seems like this one means business. A camping trip goes from relaxing to terrifying after a series of bizarre lights leaves one camper sure that he's being watched. There, they're, at, they're started again. Whoa. These unexplained lights continued with no sound well into the night, and no it's not lightning from afar if that's what you were thinking. He is pointing the camera straight ahead, not up in the sky. It's crossing the screen. But you're gonna want Whoa! Now did you see what I'm talking about? This part shows less detail, but the angle proves that this is not lightning at all. This is where it kinda of creeps me out. Oh, there it is again. No lightning, because it's the same area every time and there's no clouds anywhere. There's a clear sky. He makes it through the night and later reflects that something, paranormal or otherwise, was trying to set a trap for him. He's glad he chose not to explore that area. So that strange incident took place in September of 2015. I want you to compare that video incident to another video taken two years later by someone completely different. These wispy lights appear at the same height and look exactly the same. The silent show has the same amber glow when zoomed in. This time the lights are more frequent and hang around for longer than before. What could cause such a flash in the night is beyond me, and beyond creepy too. And then something new happens. 10 minutes and 46 seconds is when three white lights form and hang in the sky. If you connect the skylights, you'll see they take the shape of a flying triangular disc. The light in the middle grows brighter as it turns to meet his camera, and then the giant slow-moving maneuvers itself away from him. Out of sight, the lights are definitely moving as one and never do they break shape or formation. And when you go to the comments section, you'll see it's flooded with people from all over the world who say they have seen the same strange lights at night in their area and come across this video looking for an explanation. 
None of them have ever provided a satisfying answer, and the unexplained delights persist. Humans aren't the only beings with the apparent ability to teleport. Published by The Buzz in January of 2015, this mysterious video appears to show a canine teleportation. The video, filmed during a street race on an empty motorway in Chile, shows a dog suddenly materializing out of nowhere. In the clip, two cars speed down the track as the camera swings after them. Following the race, a dog suddenly appears in their wake, crossing the road. In slow motion, the dog appears out of thin air in the middle of the road somehow avoiding the two cars, neither of which budge at all in their straight shot down the track. Did this dog teleport here as many in the comments seem to believe? Whether or not he did, I think Pog Squatch sums up our sentiment. Scotty needs to be more careful when he beams you down. That was too close for comfort. This intruder can walk through walls. Posted to the r slash ghost video subreddit. A scary figure was captured on redditor Ale Oops friend's surveillance feed at around 1 in the morning. The video shows a dark and empty yard. At first, nothing appears unusual, but watch the back doorway. About 30 seconds in, a pale figure can be seen walking from left to right. You can see it outlined in the dark doorway, but if you look closely, it actually shows up seconds before, appearing semi-transparent as it walks past the exterior wall and turns into the doorway, disappearing inside the house. While some in the comments think a genuine spirit has been captured, Others suggest it's a combination of a prowler and a distortion from the cheap night vision camera. Honestly though, either is terrifying. YouTuber named Dare to be Crimson Lace was at Disneyland during the summer of 2015 when she says this strange black floating ring suddenly materialized over Tomorrowland at around 10 at night. The giant, asymmetrical circle silently hovers over the park. As this YouTuber and her family discuss what to do next, they consider asking a park employee what the ring is, but none of them can look away from the mesmerizing disc in the sky long enough to ask. Many other visitors recorded the exact same ring and uploaded it, so it definitely happened. I researched this story and could find no official response from Disney. Some people have claimed that this was a smoke ring caused by a fireworks demonstration, but many UFO believers say that this is just a cover-up story for something bigger. Let me know if you've seen a similar ring created from fireworks, or if you think it could be something a lot more bizarre than that. Okay, we're out here fishing off lawn. Oh my god, it's gonna hit the boat. There it is, right down there, mate. That's the reaction of two fishermen as an unidentified shark heads towards their boat for a closer look. It passes by them three times before getting way too close for comfort. This is when the two friends finally decide to make a retreat. Oh my god. Oh, oh, alright. Oh, shit. Oh, sh <laughs> alright. Alright, let's go. Is there anyone? Oh my god. That this is, in all likelihood, just a great white shark, but other people are saying it's too big to be a great white and that the markings are slightly different. In their opinion, this could just be a fledging megalodon shark that was recently born. Let me know if you agree with them or if you think this was a great white. A video taken from an undisclosed neighborhood in East Texas captures on camera some scary noises from the woods at night. Scary noises that certainly have to be hungry wolves laying territorial claim. So if those were wolves, tell me what this next scary noise is, or more importantly, why it's coming straight towards him.
people in the comments are saying that this sounds like a half wolf, half human creature. The uploader has lived here for a long time and the scary voice in the woods is enough to send him running back inside because he's never heard anything like it before. Although he probably should have never gone outside to begin with if you ask me. According to one comment, there's been lots of reports of these scary noises in East Texas for years now without a proper explanation. If you live here, then let me know if you've heard the unexplained screams and what you think they are. This terrifying capture is shared by YouTuber Faces of the Forgotten. This is not a video. It's a photograph of the scene of an accident in which an apparition appears above the vehicle and it looks like it's screaming. The YouTuber shares the photograph in question. Some believe it's the screaming soul of the accident's victim. In fact, it does very much look like that individual. Is this photographic evidence of a soul leaving its body? The individual was only 16 years old when he lost his life. While this could have been photoshopped, as some are suggesting in the comments, this story gives me goosebumps, and the image does look pretty convincing to me. What do you think? A YouTuber named Michael JP86 is recording a cemetery late at night to see if anything strange will happen. Sure enough, a mysterious light materializes in the distance. What is that? Is that car stopped over there? At first, they suspect it could be the headlights of oncoming traffic, but when no vehicles drive by, they realize much to their horror that the light is actually coming from within the cemetery itself. According to Michael JP86, the rectangular shape shown here is actually a doorway made of pure light. Watch again in slow motion, and you'll see a small figure run into the doorway moments before the light fades away. If this isn't paranormal, then let me know what you think caused the light to appear and also what the shadow running into it was. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Emily Strange, this redditor wrote, Victorian child ghost from Ring Video Camera. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Basic Palpitation 47 wrote, Just someone's kid. But how would they be on the inside of the gate? Emily said they don't have kids. So does that mean this was truly a ghost sighting caught on a ring camera? Which side are you on here? Let me know in the comments. What would you do if you came across this chilling scene at night? Well, because there's a sign on the side of the road that reads, Free Cat. If it's there to lure unsuspecting people in, it's done its job. As these three stop their car to check out the makeshift animal shelter, as the trio approach the sign, they realize they're looking at something truly horrifying on a dark, deserted road at night. They conclude that whoever did this put the cats there because they're psycho. Couldn't agree more. Get out of there as fast as humanly possible. While investigating an old morgue and Victorian warehouse in the UK, YouTube team CVS Paranormal immediately sees some activity. It begins with the cat ball. Touch it again. Can you touch the ball? Oh, <gasps> oh, <my God. laughs> We're having quite a lot of luck already. Stop. Can you stop? Stand back. Can you touch it again? In another room, they hear a creaking noise. <gasps> that was that really a, 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 yeah. a creaking noise up there. That was coming from up here. Shortly after, a lady's whisper is heard. 
Did you actually say that? No, I thought, I, I heard the voice. And then footsteps. There's somebody walking up there. In another instance, they hear a strange strangled noise. I just heard, I just heard something. And later, a thump is heard. I can definitely hear something. I just heard a thump. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. There seems to be low distant voices regularly throughout the visit. And there's voices, there's definite voices. Here they are again. I can, I can hear, I can hear talking, it's not, uh, definitely more than one person. And then a loud tap is heard. There's something come in. That was a tap. No, that was more than When they ask the spirit to come closer, they hear distinct footsteps. Can you come in now? I can hear it. Can you come closer? Can you hear it? Who is coming toward him? At this rate, I think it can be any number of ghost spirits that haunt this former more. Ever felt like you were being watched? These three boys definitely had reason to. Posted by the comics man to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the uploader writes, Some dudes go to the Danakil Desert, or a park, what is in the first frame? The video shows three kids getting ready to do some parkour, everyday kid stuff, but not far beyond in the background. Look at what is watching them from a nearby tree. The figure appears like a silhouette and gives off serious Slenderman vibes. The ominous way it's lurking there makes the otherwise innocent parkour video intensely creepy. You can vaguely see the figure again at a distance, at 1 minute and 43 seconds. It continues to stand there in the clump of trees, and again around 3 minutes in. What is this thing? Do these boys have a lurker? Nowhere is safe. If you've ever been in a bug swarm of any kind, you'll know it can give you chills. This mayfly swarm is no different. In fact, it's practically nightmarish. Oh, my God. When the mayflies took over this bridge in Iowa, snowplows were required to unblock the swarm buzzing in the bridge's path. In fact, the bridge had been so completely swarmed by the bugs that emergency crews were sent to the area. The nightmare scene turned into a scary situation after bikers tried to plow through the massive heap of mayflies but lost traction. Luckily, they escaped. The bridge's clearing was recorded by Tina Franzen as she rode along in her son's police car. Franzen said of the event, I've lived in Sabula since 75. I've never seen that many before, ever. To clear the bugs over the following weeks, it was decided by the Iowa Department of Transportation to keep the streetlights off near the bridge as the lights attract the mayflies. Here's hoping it all worked out for Iowa. They don't need any more of this nightmare fuel. A YouTuber named More Bad Ideas is riding his bike late at night. He normally would never go out at this odd hour, but he just got home from vacation, and he just can't wait until the morning breaks to ride again. It's a decision that he will soon regret. He's popping wheelies down empty streets and old parking lots when he comes across a random golf ball sticking out from a sewer grate. He's amused and throws it around for a bit. It lands in some grass next to something much weirder. A camcorder laying in a wet plastic bag. The camera still has a memory card and some battery life, so he curiously presses play. Yo, what the f is this? Dude, are you serious right now? Yo, is that a f knife would blow. In case you couldn't see the screen clearly, the video shows a woman tied to a chair whimpering suddenly. A car puts its high beams on and floors it towards him. He hops on his bike and narrowly gets away. He sees the person chasing him one more time, a short while later, and then he barely escapes again. Mega Chris 18 and his friends know about a creepy old courthouse somewhere in Corpus Christi, Texas. 
They sneak in through a hole in the fence and start exploring the outside perimeter for a way into the building. Last time they were able to get in through a broken window, but they're disappointed to discover it's been boarded up since. Mega Chris 18 walks up and curiously knocks on the wood and receives an unexpected response. Hello? Hey. When I say hello, the light turned off and it turned back on. The group quickly develops a method of communication with the possible spirit using the light on their camera. Can you do that one more time? Can you do that one more time so all my friends can see that? Oh my God. <laughs> the ghost uses the camera light to respond to a series of true or false questions. They soon learn that they are talking to the spirit of a young female who is somehow trapped inside the courthouse. After a while, they feel its presence slip away and stop getting responses. I really wish I could have seen Chris's hands to see if he was messing with the light. This video could be real, but we'll never know for sure. This odd and mysterious sighting in the sky has been viewed online by hundreds of people who have been unable to provide a proper explanation. The strange object floats from behind a tree and travels very fast. The oddly long shape does not look like a drone sighting to me, and it doesn't have any lights or identifying features. It's too far away to tell what it is for sure, but at the same time, it's close enough to tell that it's beyond creepy. A YouTuber named Concerned Citizen made this channel to expose his creepy neighbor, who he claims to have caught looking at his wife and other family members late at night. Here you can see the neighbor stare at the house and then briefly shine his high-powered flashlight through a window before walking away. I can think of no other reason for him to be doing this other than to watch the activities of the people inside, which is both bizarre and scary. He repeats this behavior throughout a series of videos, each time capturing a brief glimpse of a family member before retrieving back to his home. According to the police, there is nothing in the law against doing this because he is merely observing the home from his own property. Hopefully, he stays in his yard and never gets the idea to take an even closer look one night. Three photos and videos were shared on Facebook in Indonesia, showcasing the same strange phenomenon in the sky. Posted by Mr. Potek in November of 2019, with a video credited to Sataiwan, the unidentified object was filmed in Aceh, backlit by a bright moon. This mysterious flying or floating object appears to just hang there at the side of the moon. The object isn't shaped like a flying saucer, but its origins are equally as mysterious, viewed at several different angles. I don't come any closer to recognizing what this object is. The local police were reportedly terrified by its appearance. Should they be? What do you think it is? Ghost Adventures of Cornwall is the name of a paranormal investigation channel in the UK who says that out of all of the haunted places they've ever explored, this abandoned house is one of the scariest and most active of all. Mark and Haley see a lot of creepy paranormal stuff, and it's all caught on live stream. At 2 minutes and 34 seconds, they see something strange that they think is a ghost. A soft light passes across another room that Mark says was not his. The light looks like it could have been from his flashlight at first, until you zoom in and see that the ghost light actually originates on its own and does not match his camera movements at all. It's not Haley's light either, because as far as I can tell, she doesn't have one. Mark says that the ghost orb returns at 6 minutes and 48 seconds, and this time you can clearly see his camera is pointed straight at the window when this ghost light goes up the wall and disappears. Look at these curtains, Mark. Oh, something keeps touching me kindly. I think that something was touching him because his camera malfunctions at the same time he feels a ghost nearby. Then later a small blue ghost orb is in the window and it stays in the same spot even when he turns away. And when they set up a spirit box in this area to let the ghost communicate with radio airwaves, a female voice says hello. Tell me if you hear a ghost EVP say hello because I do. <laughs> A sense of desperation lends a sharpness to her voice that makes me jump. A disembodied ghost voice sounds like she does not want to be condemned to haunting this abandoned house. The paranormal investigation must go on though, and so he is brave and keeps talking to the ghost, wanting to know more. It's a big mistake. 
Are you alone? Can you not? Whoa! Be careful, son. Time to play. What? I said time to play, and that one. Who just said time to play? Whoa! You're playing games with me. At this point, the paranormal investigation has definitely gone wrong, and judging from what the spirit box had to say, a supernatural presence has probably attached itself to them. Either a demonic possession or a curse, an evil spirit can make themselves sound lost and confused to gain the trust of paranormal explorers, so maybe that's what happened here. Are these paranormal explorers being trolled? Or is there something haunting this former asylum? Published by Exploring with Maximilian in April of 2021, while the team is exploring, they hear something press the out-of-tune keys of a distant piano. No, I can't the piano. Is that the piano? No. Stop. From it freaks them out and they're not sure what to do. They decide to go check it out and find the room empty, but while in the room they hear another strange noise off screen. They conclude that there has to be someone in here, but they can't seem to find them. What the No, what was that? No, there must be someone in there, surely. Until... Is somebody hiding in that curtain? Although they don't check the curtain, they still sense someone is here and they call out to them. After hearing yet another noise, they decide to leave. They never did see what or who was prowling around the abandoned asylum. But whatever it was chased them out of there with its trolling. I just wish we could know if it was a true haunting or just some strangers messing with the team. Does this sink need a plumber or a priest? Watch this video and tell me if this paranormal activity is real or just a creepy plumbing problem. There's no motion sensor on this sink, and yet the water somehow turns off on its own, like someone is standing right there. I want to know if this workplace bathroom is as haunted as Tom Cunnington claims. I did some research online, and it looks like it might just need a valve replacement, but I was hoping someone with plumbing experience could tell me if this was the case. If so, hopefully we can put Tom's mind at ease, because I think these scary moments caught on camera have been really freaking him out. A YouTuber named Exploration Unknown is rummaging around a 200 year old cemetery when they notice something observing them off in the distance. What is that? I see some lights through the trees over there. Something's coming. Do we need to get out of here? At first, it looks like some native wildlife, but when the strange light changes from yellow to red, they know these can't be the eyes of an animal. There's a light coming right there. It may not be the fastest chase ever recorded, but Exploration Unknown is still effectively driven out of the area nonetheless by these strange flickering lights. Let me know what these color changing lights could have been because I honestly have no idea. These paranormal investigators use a flashlight to communicate with their ghostly counterparts. Published by Mackie and Amanda in April of 2022, the pair explore the haunted Cosmopolitan Hotel in San Diego. The girls talk to the spirits in the hotel, requesting that they interact with this dangling string, and the spirits respond. Just touch that string one time. <sighs> Did it's you see that? And if you're watching it, because I'm watching you hold the things completely still. I watched like how far it was going up against the line, yeah. you know? It definitely moved further. It, it looked like someone touched a string about a foot up. I don't understand. There's no way either. Later, while sitting in bed, they hear repeated noises. They check to see if someone is walking outside on the balcony, but no one's there. Oh, God. There's no one 
here, Amanda. I haven't seen really anyone at this place. I haven't either. Then the water starts to drip in the bathroom, and it continues to sound like someone is in their room. I think room 11 was the one that they... Sounds like someone's in here. They ask the spirits to turn the flashlight off and then back on. After asking the spirits to repeat this act, the flashlight turns off and the REM pod in the bathroom goes off as well. Can you turn the flashlight off? All the way, completely off. The spirits continue communicating with the girls through the flashlight. They find out that they're speaking to a ghost named Isadora. She confirms it's her through the REM pod. Okay, okay wait, Isadora, if that's you, okay, I was gonna say, can you go over to that REM pod we have in the bathroom? That, that red light. That red light that was just beeping. Can you make it start going off again? Can you make it start beeping? We'll give you like 15 seconds. <gasps> She said yes. Oh, 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 oh. The correspondence continues for a long while, with Isadora being very communicative. Mackie and Amanda return to talk to her later. You'd be like, no one's here. No one's here right now. I just gave it a minute. Isadora? 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 Wait, what is that? What's shaking? They check out early because they're understandably creeped out. It sounds like there's many unseen residents of this hotel and they're not leaving anytime soon. Who's there? Redditor Sal 26 Serrano says remodeling was being done in this vacant apartment complex of four and the owner of the property was downstairs with him at the time. So who is making this noise? Did you hear it? <laughs> There's definitely someone there, but whether they're supposed to be there or not is the next question. My guess would be this place has squatters. As we all know, ghosts can walk through walls. Here's video proof, published by Full Horror Dose in April of 2022. This scary footage was captured on CCTV in the hall of what appears to be a school building. In one of the cameras, a woman is seen in the hallway. She turns toward the wall and after pausing for a moment, walks right on through it. On closer inspection, there doesn't appear to be a doorway, elevator, or any entry here to explain her seeming disappearance. The way she moves so tentatively is also strange, and her figure vanishes right into the flat surface. What do you think? Is this a real ghost in action? If not that or clever editing, what could possibly be going on in this building? This toy is apparently possessed by a spirit who wants to imitate whatever its living counterpart does. Here you can see the toddler sitting on a toy truck, so the spirit decides to do the same. All around that toy. There it goes again, there it goes again. Yep, there it goes again, there it goes again. Orbs dance all around the yellow toy truck as its wheels slowly creep forward, almost unnoticeable at times. At one point, a larger orb seems to trace the outline of the truck itself in a zigzagging pattern. And maybe it's just me, but it looks like the child notices something too. I'm pretty convinced that this is a real paranormal counterpart, but I'm definitely open to other logical explanations, so be sure to tell me what you think is happening here. Three masked men attempt a daring heist in Sydney, Australia at the Miller Shopping Center. They are in the middle of taking jewels when literally everyone in the store decides they are not going to take this, and soon the men find themselves running for their lives. Customers and staff join together and chase the men out of the mall. 
Not even the fact one of the masked men is holding a sledgehammer is enough to hold back the angry, vigilante mob. The three masked men flee into a red van and speed away with the mob close behind, with so many similar instances caught on video. It's quite a surprise to see everyone join in to chase off the robbers for once. A YouTuber named Bloodzack12 is investigating a forest that's supposedly haunted. He and his friends don't see anything for a long time until they come across some weird discarded opera mask laying on top of an old dirty clothes pile. A short distance away, they find another opera mask hanging up in the trees. They decide to take this one home and study it for clues. They are talking about what to do next when Bloodsack 12 notices something hunched over in front of them. Someone dressed in all black looks up at them from the thickets and then gives a short chase. I have a hard time believing this video is real because of the movie-like sound effects and timing, but I guess it is possible. Let me know if you think they were genuinely being chased by some maniac lurking in the woods or if the third person person was just a friend. Bernie DMJ1 is deleting security cam videos off his Ring app when he sees something really bizarre walk across his driveway. Or rather, it's what he doesn't see. The presence of a reflection, but the lack of a body to cause it. A shadow passes in front of the car and yet no one can be seen. He says this is a ghost or a shadow figure sighting for certain, but I'd like to offer a non-paranormal explanation. Maybe this is the shadow of someone across the street. Need help moving your furniture? YouTuber Finia915 will lend you their resident ghost. This video was captured in their home. Watch the table on the left. Did you see it? The table moves ever so slightly. Watch closely. <laughs> this is what causes her to sprint into another room and lock the door behind her. I can't really blame her. She's either dealing with a ghost or an intruder. And wouldn't you do the same? I sure would. This footage is believed to have been shot somewhere in France. It starts out with a UFO sitting on the hillside that quickly flies away. The next shot shows it hovering in the air, and then we are shown this footage of what appears to be a group of aliens conversing on the ground. It looks like they are talking about whatever it is aliens talk about as they casually observe their surroundings. Maybe they were talking about technical difficulties with their ship, or else they were simply stretching their legs between planets. It doesn't look like they are aware that they are being recorded. The UFO again takes off and disappears in a beam of light. A YouTuber named Shannon Sarmi is excited to travel to California, but far less enthusiastic about her flight, specifically her window, which is not sitting in place and makes this unsettling noise. Well, going through the window and I didn't tell anyone. By the time she lands, the first of the two layers of glass has slid down enough to poke her finger through. It looks like she is sticking her hand out of the plane, but she actually isn't. There is one more layer of glass that is hard to see, but still, the thickness of the window is now halved. She notices something was wrong with her window during the flight, but did not tell anyone until the very end, not wanting to cause a panic. I see where she is coming from, and she might have just been too shy and scared to speak up, but I personally think she should have said something, because they might have needed to make an emergency landing to fix it. She was trying to keep everyone calm by not telling, but looking at the condition of the window, I think it could have put everyone's lives in danger. But above all else, I'm just glad that she and everyone else was okay. This deer appears to have a massive growth that has taken over the entire right side of its head. I was thinking that this could possibly even be exposed brain, but I doubt it would still be alive if that were truly the case. Either way, the deer appears to be very much alert and not in a vegetative state, which suggests that this is just a growth. But then again, maybe it's going through the early stages of CWD and still has some brain function. The quiet wild animal seems to be completely unafraid of the camera and makes no attempts to get away. 
based on its lack of a reaction, I would say this specimen is halfway through becoming an actual zombie deer. This mother is relaxing on the patio when a loud boom startles her pretty badly. No, I said loud. The boom is so large it rocks the camera and briefly lights up the room despite it being in the middle of the day. I really hope Chris knew what he was doing because that sounded like it was way too close to the house. Wait. That's the moon on the right. So what the f that? A TikToker named Zandorf looks up to see a large object dwarfing the moon. Oh yeah, it is. It does do it on mine. You just have to line it up right. It's not a street lamp because there's nothing underneath of it. Stranger still, the moon isn't even visible on his friend's phone when he tries to take a picture. So is Zandorf really telling the truth? You don't see anything. Like we need to take a picture of like the difference. That's so f***ing weird. What the f*** it is? <laughs> Look! I think that the larger object could actually be the real moon, which makes the smaller circle a lens flare. This is the only explanation that makes sense to me, unless he really was looking at something much larger and many times brighter than the moon itself. What's the creepiest thing that you've found on an urban exploration? I'm betting it's not creepier than what explore abandoned places with tattoo Tony Alton found in St. Louis. The YouTuber published this in February of 2017 writing, We found part of a spinal column in the basement of this creepy abandoned house. The YouTuber goes on to say that the entire street is abandoned. No big surprise if it's scary and dangerous. Tattoo Tony says the houses here were built sometime between 1910 and 1916. As he enters the first building, you can see that it's completely tattered and dilapidated. The wallpaper is flaking from the walls. The ground is absolutely covered in debris and filth. There's still furniture left over in some of the upstairs rooms. It looks as though whoever lived in these homes just up and left one day, leaving everything behind. As he walks through the building, you can hear wind whipping through the place. So it's understandable why the ceilings and all the walls are flaking. But it's when Tony heads into the basement that things get really chilling. Here, he comes across part of a spinal column. Some in the comments debate whether it was from an animal or a human. Whatever the species, Tony wrote, it was a little spooky, urban exploration can have its risks. The question is now, what is the story behind the spinal column? Well, this man was checking his home CCTV at night. He captured something he didn't expect. Published by Scary Desk in November of 2021, the scary video shows the man setting up his camera and checking that it's angled well in his yard. But as he's doing so, look behind him. A creepy face peeks out from behind a bush in the background. It remains in view even as a car passes by behind it. The face then slowly disappears back behind the bush. A closer look shows the creature's bizarre features. While it looked human from far away, it doesn't exactly look that way close up. Is this being wearing a mask? And why is it hiding? Whatever is going on here, it seems this man set up his security cameras just in time. This ghost hunter crosses into haunted territory with only his faith and a camera. Caught on tape is a giant unknown creature that does some really scary things. 11 minutes and 28 seconds seconds is when they notice the shine of its eyes. Lying on the roof is something much larger than them. A mysterious figure peeks from the window. Watchful eyes retreat down the roof as they approach. Ha ha ha! 
Footsteps turn them around, but nothing's there, and when they turn back, the figure is in the window again, along with the creature above. What is this bizarre thing looking at them from the doorway, and is it paranormal? I think it could be. A YouTuber and his friend are riding a motorcycle throughout the Indian town of Uti when they unexpectedly zoom past a pedestrian clad in ancient looking robes. Watch this part and if you happen to share their language, please translate what's being shouted at the person here. I'm guessing that they probably said watch where you're going or something along those lines. Whatever it is that they said, it must have really upset the other person because after driving in a straight line for about another minute, this happens. <laughs> They come across the same person as before, yet this is impossible because there is no way that the person could have been traveling on foot faster than what they were doing on a bike. Suddenly it dawns on them that they were most likely taunting a spirit and it looks like they actually get off their bike to flee. This video looks very authentic and I'm inclined to believe it is real because there's no added music or sound effects, just raw footage. If anyone is from the town of Uti or lives nearby, let me know if these sightings are common in the area. Or better yet, tell me if you've ever seen something like this yourself. Passengers are boarding this airplane in Thailand, but how is this possible when the entrance is disconnected from the airport? Are these people or spirits? You decide. As a counterpoint, someone pointed out that there could have been a second entrance here on the other side. The people could be traveling in an L-shaped tunnel, but since we can't confirm it from this angle, both explanations are plausible. This ghost video from a bus station in Sydney, Australia has everyone convinced it's real. Even the camera equipment itself. A shadowy mist floats across the upper right monitor and soon motion tracking equipment puts a bright orange box around it to confirm. It eventually floats off the monitor, at which point it should show up on the other monitor to the left, but nothing appears. The motion sensor tries to track it for a bit longer and then gives up. It has simply vanished. This strange deer keeps repeatedly wandering into the yard of a YouTuber named Free Tickies. It seems to be without a herd, so at first Free Tiki suspects that it could be someone's pet, which is not all that uncommon of an occurrence where he lives in Kentucky. After a minute or so, it becomes evident that this deer is sick with something quite serious. Watch here and you'll see how the deer looks disoriented enough to walk up to another neighbor's house. I have little doubt that it would have wandered straight through the front door if it was open potentially contaminating the entire inside. The YouTuber says that he called the local wildlife authorities and reported the deer shortly after recording this two minute video. I think he keeps a respectful distance for the most part and appears to be safe from any potential contamination. As for the deer, it sadly had to be put down by government officials after it kept walking onto the nearby Route 8 highway. This list is probably making you feel you're as unsafe inside your home as you are outside of it. This entry is no exception. Posted by Borgburger, this video captures a man who was trying to film inside his neighbor's home. Apparently, the neighbor had been filming inside their home for weeks. The homeowner's girlfriend said that the man often approached her when she was collecting posts and she felt he was creepy. He once offered that if there was anything he could do for her, just let him know. The video shows the man in his own home entering a room across from theirs. According to the video, he picks up his camera which had been charging, positions himself on the floor out of sight, then starts recording from a corner of the window. You can actually see the red light from his video camera appear in the darkness. He peers over the windowsill to see that no one sees him. Then he resumes recording. He is again seen more clearly, standing up to look out the window. Then he ducks back down to resume his peeping position. The man filming or photographing goes on for a solid two minutes and probably longer because this clip seems to have been cut before the man finishes. 
The clip also shows the man being taken to the station by police. The homeowner said his girlfriend felt incredibly upset as her privacy had been violated. Who wouldn't? Considering her intuition about this man, this just goes to show that you should always trust your gut. A search of official reports of this invasion of privacy could not be found, so it's unclear whether or not this situation ended in charges being pressed against the culprit. Whatever the case, this one will make you pull your shutters closed and lock them tight. If you have a chance to visit a former institute, don't. Published by Steve Ronan in October of 2021, this pair of scary videos will send you running for the hills. In the first video, Ronan talks about how Lechtworth is where unethical testing was done on patients. When journalists exposed this, the place was shut down. As he's putting on some gear later, he hears someone near. He thinks it's Mo. Mo? Another sound is heard and it doesn't seem to be the crew. Okay, someone else has to come with me because I legit heard something. What the f You okay? Okay, that wasn't me. They think it came from an adjacent room. The paranormal activity ramps up when one of the crew thinks he saw a person. They are later walking down a hallway when a door either opens or closes behind them. Like someone or something walking outside. They catch the sound on two separate cameras. Walking outside. <gasps> As they continue moving through Lechtworth, a sound like a rock being thrown occurs to their left. What's this door? What the f They then attempt to open the doors ahead and something shuts the door on one of them. Nothing in here. What was that? What? There's something that shut the f***ing door on me. It literally just shut the f***ing door. Like, there's someone behind the door. There's oh. someone actually behind the f***ing door. They pry the door open again to see if there's someone inside, but it's an empty room. As they're wondering if someone fled through the window, their answer arrives in the form of the door slamming shut. What the f***? Yo. It's hard. It won't open and they call out for Mo to push from the other side. Mo manages to kick the door open and they're all relieved to be out of that room. They then talk to the spirits, asking them to come in contact again, and the spirits answer in kind. If that was your way of making contact with us, can you do it again? Yo! They race down the hallway, fleeing for their lives, but before they do, they look in this room one more time. Finding it empty again, something starts banging loudly and repeatedly in the dark hallway. Go through the window, the bushes are rumbling too. Still nothing to be seen. As they're heading to the stairs toward the creepy basement, a creaky door is heard opening and closing. It's gonna take us to the basement. Yo. Who is that? In the team's second video, they explore the basement, which they soon discover is just as creepy as the floor above. They attempt to speak with the demons using a phone EVP. As they're communicating, another bang is heard behind them. Are you angry right now? <laughs> when they start challenging the demons to slam a door shut, things get a little crazy. Claiming he saw the door shake a little. Like two minutes. Okay. Okay. Oh, guys, guys, guys. It just moved. Mo soon starts to get woozy. Oh, I'm feeling weird, though. Yeah. Mo? Mo? Right. I'm feeling lightheaded. Dude, your face got all pale. Pale face, Mo says he feels dizzy and lightheaded and so sits down for a moment. They're heading down the stairs when Mo gets dizzy again and falls to the ground. Later, he is not being himself and becomes aggressive with the rest of the crew. Where is he? I don't know, man. Just be careful. He's not himself. Oh, 
as Mo become possessed? Guess that's what happens when you start challenging demons. What happens when you're on an extreme ghost hunt that goes horribly wrong? Published to YouTube in July of 2020, Simply Sereth can answer that question. He suggests using earphones to get the full effect of what happened to him and his crew when they got trapped in by unseen forces while exploring this bungalow. In the video, they wander through the dark abandoned house. It's raining outside which adds to the creepy ambiance inside the home with its empty windows and doors. Nearly straight away, they keep hearing noises that makes them jump and search around for the source. The home is nightmarish, with bats or birds swooping down from the ceiling every so often. At one point at 14 minutes 30 seconds, they hear footsteps above. At another point, there's a loud bang at the end of the hallway they're hovering in. While talking through the spirit box, they feel like something is at the end of the hallway again. They run for a moment, but then stall to talk again to the spirit box. They must have felt trapped like rats as they kept hearing noises on opposite ends of the hallway. But thankfully, they eventually escaped with their lives. But did something else come with them? If you're planning on going zip lining soon, don't watch this video. Captured in Wales in the UK, this video was published to YouTube by Stephen Bromley in September of 2018. The clip reveals many adventurers preparing for their exhilarating ziplining trip, and the zipline does indeed look fun for a while. That is, until Bromley's GoPro captures him starting to slide backwards. Eventually, he gets stuck hundreds of feet above the ground. Bromley explains what happened in the comments, writing, I was at the time 14 stone, and when I went over the cliff edge, a sudden gust of wind came up and slowed me quite a bit. My brother said it was the size of my head that caught the wind. LOL. Bromley also advises all concerned not to let this video put you off zip lining. He said it was a blast and the staff were very professional returning him to safety. This video, posted by a man in the Moroccan city of Marrakesh, claims to be targeted by locals after converting to beliefs that's unpopular in the area. Men with their faces covered visit their house with a red canister filled with what I presume is gasoline and threaten to burn the place down. They seem genuinely ready to rip the door down and tear this family apart, especially when they pull out a huge blade and throw it at the door in a display of disgust. Here's the twist. According to a local news source in the area, the video is staged and was made by a family seeking asylum in America. Their anger is quite convincing, and the family really does look scared, so I want your opinion on if you think this is a performance or really a family in distress. Houses aren't the only stomping grounds for ghosts. Apparently, so are Walmarts. Posted by YouTuber Shabard, he notes that this little girl Walmart ghost was caught on surveillance camera in Oxnard, California. Shabard writes, Walmart is haunted by the ghost of a 7-9 to nine year old Mexican-American girl. According to Shabard, night workers at Walmart claim to have felt cold spots and to have seen balls bouncing on their own. Others say they've seen the girl in a solid full apparition, while the ghost has appeared to some as a misty half-body apparition. Those who come across the ghost state that she smiles, giggles, and is often playful, but there's just one problem. According to the website Backpackerverse, the girl's eyes are disturbingly milky white, and from the mouth down, her whole body is covered in red liquid, apparently an appalling amount of it. The video purportedly captures this friendly ghost in semi-transparent form. She appears to be pursuing the closed section of Walmart. She can be seen for a split second before she vanishes out of view again. She isn't wearing her regular blue dress, but appears to be wearing some shorts and a t-shirt. She also does not seem to be covered in red, so who knows? Perhaps there is a second ghost haunting these hallowed grounds. While at their friend's mountain house, this party found a series of tiny handprints on the door. The only problem? They match none of their hands. THAXTJ2 published this mysterious video to YouTube. Let's have a look. <laughs> Whose little handprints? I don't know! Oh my god! on the door. They're tiny! <laughs> We have a ghost! And they wait, they both go the same way! 
We have a ghost. But no, these, they, they she, she went. The prints are very small, even child sized. <laughs> They're tiny. <laughs> The YouTuber writes that none of their hands were wet either. So what created these marks seems to me like yet another child ghost. I'm starting to think this place is haunted. These British YouTubers are having a look around an old synagogue that hasn't been used in ages. The space is well lit and soon they stumble upon a ladder leading to a much darker attic area. One of them bravely climbs along the wooden rafters and goes much farther out than the rest. Everything is going fine until he makes the mistake of stepping on the much weaker fluffy white insulation. It's just what? He just barely catches himself and now hangs suspended from the ceiling, too stunned to scream his upper half still in the attic and his bottom half dangling in the air. Look down the hole and you can see he's at a dizzying height. If he hadn't quickly grabbed onto the rafters for support, there would be nothing to keep him from free falling to the bottom. If you like to scrounge for snacks at night, this video will have you second guessing that midnight snack. Posted to Reddit by Better Than Better, the home security footage reveals a dark and seemingly empty kitchen at night. Around 30 seconds in, a man trudges in and opens the fridge to get a snack. While the man is standing at the fridge, drinking something, watch the teddy bear on the kitchen table. It starts moving ever so slightly, bobbing up and down, but that's not all. When the man closes the fridge and turns to leave, the baby walker next to the table does this, confused about whether he saw what he thinks he saw. The man doesn't take his eyes off the baby walker as he leaves the room, but he returns a short time later, his wife by his side, presumably to explain what happened. As he's indicating that the baby walker moved of its own accord, the teddy bear falls over, or rather seems to fly backwards. As the wife jumps out of the room and the man approaches the bear, two of the chairs tucked under the table spring out simultaneously. If that isn't enough to scare you out of your own home, I don't know what is. I believe dealing with an incident like this is something 99% of people couldn't handle. While light can certainly play tricks on us, and on a camera, things can get creepy. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit, Garno7 explains that he and some friends were hanging around their campfire near a lake, and one of them captured this on his phone. The clip shows a figure appearing to run from their group of people into the roaring flames, watches the camera pans from left to right. Can you see it? While many in the comments say the figure is nothing but a lens flare. A couple redditors counter that argument. Redditor Patrick RS Ghost writes, at first, I thought it was some flare or something due to the transition from dark to light very quickly. But when I looked closer, I could see something start to move within the crowd at around the two second mark, almost to the left of the little girl in the pink sweater, right as the camera starts to pan. And upon looking again, I can totally see what this Redditor is talking about. So now I think there's a good chance this could be paranormal, because when you take the time, it seems to sync up. A YouTuber named named R. Travis is exploring a haunted restaurant that used to serve Chinese food. The inside is extremely old and the walls have rotted down to bare support beams. He feels watched and grows increasingly anxious and begins to talk loud and fast to himself in an effort to keep calm. Sometime during his nervous ranting, he makes a comment out loud about a spirit he sees standing at the top of the stairs. I don't give two flat oh, it's a set of stairs here, let's roll. They might not be stable. I just seen a figure up there, but I'm not asking going chasing him. Nothing really stands on camera. Could this purple triangular shape be whatever it was he was talking about? At first, he says he's going to leave it alone, but up the steps he finds nothing but an old musty attic with a worn out floor, but there's more than that up here. I just seen another figure then. Three black spirits have seen them past me now. Aside from this white light that passes by at three minutes and 10 seconds, I do see some shadow figures. And a final shadow figure with white eyes can be seen here at three minutes and 22 seconds. They're all about the same height scattered around different parts of the room, and with all of them still watching, our Travis abruptly ends the video. 
Nadim Shah suspects he's caught some paranormal things on video when he goes exploring an abandoned building that is little more than pillars in the dark. He suspects a place this creepy has to be haunted and the ghost hunter's instincts are not wrong. Two ghost sightings are enough for Nadim. He needs a paranormal encounter up close to be fully convinced. He follows the ghosts into the darkness for one final sighting. इसको देखते हैं ये कौन सी मखलूक है क्या चीज है इसको हम पकड़ने की कोशिश करते हैं ये इस तरह से नजर आ रही है इधर से हम जाने की कोशिश करते हैं He's all alone when a slow moving shadow figure glides across the pillar without making a sound It's not someone walking behind him either because Nadim would already be blocking out the light himself It's a real ghost sighting as far as I'm concerned a paranormal entity a moving shadow that deeply creeps him out and sends him on his way. Enough said. This grainy cell phone video comes from the SNDT Women's University in Mumbai, India. They are walking down a long hall filled with various classroom conversations when they see another student coming the opposite way. Well, I guess they didn't technically see them since it was only a pair of shoes with nobody attached. Tell me, am I losing my mind? Or if this really is a ghost student going to class? Do you want to play a game? Post it to the ghost subreddit by responsible at 8836. This guard in Mexico often hears noises at night while on watch. He recorded this one while on patrol. While walking the grounds at night, he heads around the building when what looks like a man's head pops out from around the corner. The guard chases it around the corner, but there's nothing there. <laughs> The Redditor also posted a frame-by-frame -frame video to better see the figure. Many in the comments are clearly surprised. Some point out there are no feet, while others suggest it's a grey extraterrestrial. Still, others say it looks like it's playing a game. Do you want to play? I suggest that guard heads back in the other direction. A person thinks they see something strange dash in front of their car late at night on a dark road. A playback of the tape has their suspicions confirmed by a totally bizarre dash cam encounter caught on video. A fleeting figure standing under a street lamp runs out and disappears way too fast to be a human. He claims this video is unexplainable paranormal evidence, but I suspect it might simply be a trick of the light, not exactly a lens flare per se, because there is no sunlight to reflect, or maybe that is the right term, but you know what I mean. Basically a ray of light bending towards him to create the illusion of a phantom ghost. So while there is definitely a light anomaly, I'm not exactly sure it's paranormal. Tell me what you think he's caught on tape, because it might be a reflection and nothing more. A YouTuber named Muzamil Khan records his neighbor having an argument one floor up. Muzamil knows that there is only one person in the apartment, but somehow at least two voices are coming out of the same man. I didn't really hear what he was talking about until this part in particular. Listen to this and tell me if you hear multiple voices panting, breathing, and speaking at the same time. Muzumil keeps recording until his roommate wakes up and shuts the door. Later, he says the police eventually took his neighbor into custody, who by that time had removed his clothes and was acting even more possessed. It's hard to tell from this video whether this man was actually possessed or just under the influence of something, which still doesn't fully explain how numerous voices could come out of one person at the same time. A crumbling cemetery in New Orleans is crawling with restless residents. If this scary sighting is to be believed, at 18 seconds a stone slab lays on the ground as if recently removed. 20 seconds later, this mysterious figure, to use their exact words, is caught on video walking between some tombstones. This could simply be one of their friends, but if not, 
then seeing a random person while exploring an abandoned cemetery is really bizarre and also more than a little creepy. They are unable to get the figure on video again and so they leave. Based out of the southern city of D'Armonville, Exploring Alabama is a YouTube channel that takes on the creepiest abandoned places in the entire state. One such video is an abandoned church that's in the early stages of decay. Inside is a mess but still structurally sound. Some rooms are too dark and creepy for him to willingly go into, so he mostly stays in the more well-lit areas and continues to explore until he gets his share of footage. As he's leaving, something compels him to take one last look in the main room, and that's when he records it. Some are calling this a mysterious creature, while others say this is only a stray cat and nothing more. It's too far away to tell for certain, but I think it's interesting and worth talking about. So what do you think? Will fish soon walk on land? It looks like one's already there. Published to the oddly terrifying subreddit, Redditor Big Black Onyx writes the cryptic message, they are evolving. The mysterious video shows a large fish on a slab of snowy ice jutting into the water. The oddly terrifying fish appears to be standing up on its fins, taking in great gulps of air. Many have reacted to the walking fish, which has become the subject of numerous memes, originally appearing in iFunny. Posted by user Psyka Gamberger in December of 2019, the video has been viewed, liked, and tweeted millions of times, and that's perhaps due to its unnerving nature. Redditor Sci-Fi Ship Controller remarks, not sure what is more unsettling, that it stands or that it breathes. Hey Michael, is that you? This video, known to most only as Michael Is That You, has gone viral and spawned a ton of rumors and re-uploads. People are trying to figure out what this creature is and if it's ever been sighted before. One rumor is that the eyes look similar to a February 11th, 2013 rake sighting video taken from somebody's backyard deep in the woods. Dude, there's some glowing eyes right there. The eyes are the same color and similarly spaced apart. It also holds its head roughly at the same angle, and like the Michael Is That You video, the eyes never once blink. On April 11th, 2013, there was a second rake sighting from the same person. And once again, this does look similar to three seconds into the Michael video where the creature first turns around. Although this 2013 sighting remains an unsolved mystery to this day, the same cannot be said for the Michael Is That You video. I've gotten a lot of requests to analyze this scary video, so I did some digging and here is my final analysis. While this video looks convincing, it's not real. I did some research and was able to track down the original upload to a channel called Zulu Bao Productions. I know this is the original video because it's the only upload that shows exactly how it was made in a 3D rendering program. You can see the creature itself, which isn't so scary. Once it stands up straight and loses those glowing green eyes, Once he does make the arm super long and thin, and folds it into an unnatural position in the corner of the room, do we get the creepy mysterious creature that went viral, add a detailed skin texture and we're back to horrifying. I just wanted to give credit to Zach of this channel because so many people asked me to cover this video that I knew I had to find the original source and dispel the rumors. So the next time you see this video somewhere on the internet, you'll know it was fake. This was just something Zach did for fun and practice in his own words on December 18th, 2019. He never expected it to go viral but appreciates the recognition. I think he did a very convincing job, so good of a job that it is still sparking rumors and making its rounds on the internet to this day. <laughs> Mother Nature Sometimes Digs Up Monsters That was the case during the 2011 tsunami in Japan. The scary video is proof that there are plenty of species in our oceans that we haven't yet met. The clip shows floodwaters tearing through the Japanese coast.
Well, this is disturbing enough. Don't be distracted by all the debris. Instead, look closely at this waterway. What looks to be either translucent vapor or a big spout of water shoots up in the air like a geyser before vanishing like a ghost. Some are saying it is a ghost, while others think it's a propane tank discharging when its regulator was torn off. A few people think it may be marine life with highly effective camouflage skills. Where do you land in this debate? My guess is something paranormal. Leviathan published this video on February 18th, 2016, writing, In March 2015, I went on a hiking trip in the woods of Monrova, Czech Republic. He said after a few hours of walking, he suddenly heard some strange sounds coming from south of him. While walking through a mossy wooded area, he hears a sound echo throughout the forest. The camera shot moves towards the sound, and the fearless hiker decides to enter deeper into the forest to investigate. He comes across some tracks that look Bigfoot-esque, in the shape of human feet, only bigger. Deciding he'd rather live than come face to face with this creature, he gets the heck out of Dodge. But as he's leaving, the strange call is heard in the forest again. It's almost like the wind is screaming, but the day is absolutely calm. On the way back to his car, he claims that he heard the noise the whole way. While well, guesses as to what this creature might be range from Bigfoot to werewolves, one thing's for certain, stay out of the forest. During a mid-morning flight from Canada over the Appalachian Mountains in October of 2010, this passenger captured something mysterious from the air. Watch carefully. Can you see the reflections of light in the clouds? There also appears to be a disc-like shape that emerges from the clouds at the lower half of the screen. Watch again closely. Is this a genuine, unidentified flying object caught on camera? If not, what do you think this could possibly be? Imagine running into this creature in a dark rainforest at night. YouTuber Only Menopore Collection Sap posted this creepy video in July of 2019, adorned in white with pale skin and black hair. This forest dweller is the thing of horror movies. One of the brave men approaches it, his hand upheld in full view in an attempt to pacify the figure. As he closes in on her, the figure just stands, its head wagging side to side slightly. Then suddenly it sinks to the ground, vanishing from view. Later in the video, they come across some other forest being. This one dressed in white. Again, the man approaches it as it stands in place. Then it too vanishes from view. What are these ghouls of the forest? Are they good or evil? And what is their motive? These are questions better left unanswered. This short video will send you running for the hills. Posted to Instagram by para underscore noid underscore normal. This video shows a woman tearing down an alleyway in fear. A second later, you see why. What is that creature? Those in the comments have some theories. After creeping down the alleyway, she lays on the ground for some reason and doesn't get up again. Then she simply disappears. In my opinion, the creature looks like a skinwalker. What do you think? 
Most people think of houses, hospitals, or jails when they think about ghost sightings, but some of the most unsuspecting of places can turn out to be the most haunted. This footage was taken in a popular food joint during broad daylight. A shadowy ghost suddenly materializes in a subway restaurant. It starts out in the shape of a human and almost appears to be getting a table. When it gets back to its seat, the black shadow suddenly changes into a floating black blob of an orb. At this point, an employee or maybe a customer appears to see the ghost in the doorway. Whoever they are, they look stunned for a second and then quickly back away. The shadow orb pays no attention to the human as it floats up to the window and lingers there. It's almost as if it's taking a look at the outside world. The ghost starts to rise even higher and shrinks until it fully disappears of the ghost of the headless man. YouTube team KBC Cazadores de Fantasmas encounters some unexplained activity. As they're touring the haunted area, they hear strange sounds. Shh. Later, while communicating through the spirit box, they see the gate close on its own. <laughs> then, down by the water, they spot something unusual on the opposite bank. Here it is again. What made an appearance on the riverbank? Was it the same entity that opened the gate? I can't be sure, but I am impressed by what the team has captured here. I think it calls for further investigation. There is a powerful figure on this roof, and it's united the villagers in rebellion. Posted on TikTok by Toddy Catalina, this scary video shows a large, dark figure dominating this rooftop. Anyone who dares near it seems to be blown back, either by her power or from fear. Watch. All those who try to reach the roof fail, and the figure doesn't seem to be bothered by them. They're even throwing things at the figure, but with one great pop, she disappears. Is this dark magic in the round? I'm not sure if this was a witch or some other mysterious creature, but I am sure she's managed to traumatize these villagers for life. I thought all of the scary Alexa videos had been sorted out by Amazon, but according to a TikToker named the Jackie Cole, they've only just begun. She must want to see if Alexa still does that creepy laugh because she asks it to repeat her own monotone laughter. Alexa. Simon says ha 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 ha. Alexa repeats the words back in a small voice that quickly becomes breathy and scary with gasping noises and a strange sentence at the end that kind of sounds like I am at the end. Let me know what you think it says. <laughs> I have never heard a machine sound like this before, and I hope I never will for the rest of my life. If you happen to have an Alexa, I wouldn't recommend trying this out unless you want to hear a similarly scary reply. <laughs> If you saw someone in a window just standing and staring, what would you think? Would you consider it abnormal? Would you be concerned about their mental state? These Lithuanians saw this strange staring man as cause for concern when they posted this video to their YouTube channel. Reposted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Martillo, the Redditor writes, Couple of Lithuanian YouTubers are driving with other couple friends around the city and they come across this strange guy in his apartment. 
They're saying that he maybe is possessed. The windows in the building across from the Lithuanian's car are all darkened, apart from one brightly lit window on the second floor. There stands a man appearing to stare out into the night, oddly still. Upon closer inspection, the man looks like he's rolling his head around before turning to the side and staring off again. He stares forward for a time, this having gone on for a solid minute, before turning around and switching off the light in his apartment likely because he notices the men outside are shining their light up at his window, watching him. Martillo notes that although the men in the video are laughing, the image of someone staring out their window blankly is somewhat scary. He says the behavior is strange. Well, that may be so, you could argue the same for the behavior of the occupants of this car. YouTuber Joey Official is staying in the Haunted Queen Mary in room B340. Watch what happens next. Room B340 has significant paranormal activity dating back to 1967. Not only does the activity not look staged, but I'm sold that this place is haunted based on their sheer terror. When a YouTuber named Blake Smith's Gaming Blitz claims to have been hearing paranormal sounds from his basement, his followers suggest that he leaves a camera downstairs and record what happens. He takes their advice, and this is what his phone supposedly picks up. The video goes on like that for over a minute, but he comes back and gets his phone. If this video is fake, then I personally don't know where he got these effects from. It doesn't sound like any movie I've seen or any game I've ever played. If you recognize the sounds from somewhere, or if you think this is real, then I definitely want to get your opinion. Here's another video from the same channel so you can hear it some more. Hello? Adam Grayson is making a YouTube video at the hospital after a reaction causes his entire hand to swell. His wedding ring presses into flesh of his finger hard enough to cut off the circulation. Now a surgeon has to cut through the thin band of metal with only a trained eye and a tiny circular saw. One slip will make the situation ten times worse. Ah, that's hot. The friction from the saw creates such an intense heat that nurses must repeatedly squirt water on the ring to cool it off. They really do have to delicately cleave through every last millimeter of the ring to get it off. Here you can just see how close they have to get to Adam's finger before they are able to pry it off. Adam's finger is red and tender. When they are finally finished with the procedure, there is no doubt that in my mind that he would have eventually lost an index figure had he not gotten to the hospital in time. Willard is hiking Horseshoe Falls in Colorado when he decides he wants to try to climb a cliff. The path is steeper than it looks, and soon he has to put more of his weight on the rocks, which look kind of loose to begin with. Rushing waters are below him, and when he admits defeat and tries to climb back down, everything goes wrong. Whoa. A large rock comes loose and thankfully rolls the opposite way instead of onto his head. He wedges himself between two rocks and says that if he lost his footing, he could have been taken underwater. Meanwhile, his friend looks back with hardly a care. Overall, I'm just glad he didn't break anything, or else it would have been a long and expensive airlift to the nearest hospital. Now I must quickly acknowledge that this sport is called football everywhere outside of North America. This ghost is a ball hog. Watch the soccer ball. While the first little twist is disturbing enough, 
The fact that the ball then loosies this Charlie Brown all on its own is even stranger. Those in the comments are wondering how, and I'm guessing it's either remote control activated or something is attached to the torn flap of the ball, which you can see here. Or you know, it could be a ball hogging ghost. I'd prefer that. A ghost investigating TikTok account called Gateway Paranormal TN experiences brief success when they detect the frame of a ghost standing on the table next to them. Go walk on the other side of the desk. But the ghost disappears when he tries to get closer. What's especially odd about this video is how the ghost seems to briefly lean forward as if trying to resist him and then gets bumped out of the frame. I was thinking this looked too small to be a ghost, but when compared to the wireframe of one of the ghost investigators, it seems to be in normal proportion. Whether it's a real ghost or just a computer error, they aren't able to recreate it, so it might have been a once in a lifetime occurrence to which we'll never get the true answer. It's gone. While exploring a spooky abandoned cellar, these ghost hunters face something more fearsome than ghosts. Published by Scary Labs in August of 2021, this scary video shows the crew investigating several dark bricked rooms. The cameraman scans one room that appears to be empty, then he turns to his colleague, who is directing her camera toward another room, asking the spirits to come forward. When the spirits refuse to answer, the cameraman turns back to toward the previously empty room, only it's not empty anymore. <laughs> black cloak, black hair, pale skin. What was this thing? I'm guessing Professor Snape, but the crew didn't stick around long enough to find out. Deep inside these tunnels lies something no one was meant to see. Published to YouTube in November of 2016, Connor Does Adventure explains, We did not fake or plan any of this. We just started recording for a blog and this is what we found. Entering deep into a watery tunnel, the boys start to hear something. No. I can't see. They all freak each other out and start running towards an exit. At first you think they were just scared and adrenaline caught up with them, but it turns out someone or something was in fact chasing them. Once out in the sunlight, they stand at the entrance before heading into the tunnel a short ways again. A strange squealing sound can be heard, and as the camera focuses in, a figure is clearly seen, although it's unlike any creature you'd ever seen before. It's gray skin and alien-like, and it's marching towards them with a determined air. Any ideas what this is? Is it a madman? Or is it a watery tunnel creature? Most importantly, is this thing harmless, or should they be running immediately? Don't wait around to find out. Grim Experience is a YouTuber who has been experiencing paranormal activity at not one, but two separate homes. Okay, you know how her house is haunted. We explored the basement the other day. Clearly haunted. It really is. I ain't ever going over there again. There's so many stories. Like, I could write a book. <laughs> His wife was using the Ouija board, and now they think something followed them out of her basement and into their home. They decide to go ghost hunting at 3 a.m. in a room full of collectible dolls. What they've caught on tape is beyond creepy, but is it paranormal? Let's take a look. And they said, give us a sign. And then all of a sudden... All right, here we have to talk about The flowers to started rising up out of the... <laughs> he is in the middle of telling us what happened in the basement when he is interrupted by an avalanche of dolls caught on video falling over. He's so into his story that he runs forward seconds before the dolls fall. So perhaps his pounding footsteps are to blame. Except look again. At 1 minute and 50 seconds, Grimm sees a demonic ghost face grinning back at him. The ghost must have attached itself to one of the dolls, and when the dolls moved, it was because the ghost was feeding off his wife's fear. Robin Adri is the name of a YouTube channel with an interesting Ouija board experiment at 3 a.m. Is there any spirits out here that would like to contact us? They try to get the ghost to spell its name, but the session gets off to a bad start after they complain about how slow the ghost is at spelling. 
This seems to aggravate the spirit, and it asks to speak with Rob's twin brother Steven by spelling its name over and over again. The spirit goes on to profess that it does not have good intentions for his brother Steve. Do you want to hurt Steven? After a while, the Ouija board stops spelling Steven long enough to spell out Zozo instead. They eventually end the session properly and even get assured that they will be left alone in the future. You said that you will not haunt us, right? Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. But it seems as though Zozo may have been luring them into a false sense of security. As they are leaving, they see a rattlesnake nearby and it seems to be paying special attention to Steven. Rob and Adri are convinced that Zozo was sending them a warning sign in the form of a serpent, but I think this could also just be a coincidence. Let me know what you think. This footage was taken by an American tourist who was visiting Romania. He was just walking around a local zoo on his own, checking out the sights when he hears about a new attraction that is unlike any of the others. He is ushered into a dark farmhouse along with some other curious observers. Almost immediately, the tone of the video changes from skeptical to serious. It's hard to say exactly exactly how, but something just feels wrong all of a sudden. You can hear the villagers talking among themselves, excitedly as they push past. Farm animals are making noises as the American makes his way deeper inside. This section is very dark now and even though the Romanians are speaking in a different language, you can tell that people are sounding worried and concerned as they come closer and closer to the main attraction. Finally, the American tourist sees it for himself. <laughs> Sitting across from them on a straw floor is what appears to be a white humanoid creature with black eyes and a wide gap for a mouth. It makes a series of tortured gurgling sounds and then charges towards its cage as the video quickly ends. It's hard to tell if this is a real creature or a man in a suit because the lighting is very dim. At the same time, Romania is a very rural country and anything could be lurking in the woods. Maybe someone really did capture this thing and drag it back to society to be gawked at by paying crowds. If this thing is real, then the poor humanoid sounds like it's been severely mistreated and probably needs help. In 2014, a YouTuber was finishing up a hiking trail in Fernie, British Columbia, when an unwanted intruder decided to make him its intended prey. That is a mountain lion. And he's stalking me. A wild mountain lion emerges from the tall brush with its head low to the ground, ready to pounce. The man instinctively turns and runs, but then he regains his wits and stops to confront his aggressor. I am much bigger than you. I'm way bigger than you. The young mountain lion seems surprised at this bold reaction, but then it quickly blends into its surroundings again and regains the upper hand. Eventually, it's spotted again a few more times as it prowls along the trail close by. The two eventually end up staring at each other from a short distance. As the showdown comes to a tense close, the mountain lion seems unsure and eventually wanders off. It may have lost for now, but in another year or two, I'm sure the animal would have undoubtedly grown into a much larger threat. A YouTuber named Vintango says his Xbox might be possessed by a ghost and a bunch of people in the comments are backing him up. It's opening and closing at random like crazy, and then all of a sudden it stops like it's thinking about something. When it starts up again, one commenter says that it kind of sounds like the ghost is trying to make the Xbox say help me. This video is from 2009, so the console was already up to 8 years old and possibly breaking down. Spirits try to communicate with all sorts of other electronic devices, so I guess an old Xbox is as good as anything. 
dark, damp caves bring only danger to wanderers. And here's another proof, published by Solo Paranormal in January of 2022, and credited to Victor Perez. This encounter is super creepy, although we don't have context for this video. From what I gather, the cameraman is navigating through a cave system in a vehicle. There appears to be an opening overhead off to the left, followed by another section of the cave. But what is that to the corner on the left? Something appears inside the cave in the darkness, a strange sliver of light. It appears only for a moment and then vanishes. What is this light in the darkness? I guess exploring that cave is the only way to find out. A YouTuber named Travis Andrew Barker and his brother were watching the movie Titanic one day when his brother noticed someone in the background who looked completely out of place. Travis wasn't sure if his brother was just messing with him, but as it turns out, he was telling the truth after all. If you could see right there, we pause the movie and there's Jack and there's Rose. If you look back there, you'll see the Slenderman. I honestly can't say that I've seen this movie that many times, so I'm not sure how legitimate this sighting is. If you are familiar with the movie and recognize the scene, then please let me know what is going on here and explain who this mysterious background character is. If nobody can come forward with details, then this very well may be the first Slenderman sighting in a Hollywood movie. A YouTuber named Tanner Shelton is trying to clear his mind by making a TikTok video at the mall when he accidentally records a phantom figure that disappears after a brief but horrifying moment. Hey guys, so I decided to just get out of the house today. I think it's probably good for me to keep my mind off of things and just She has long black hair over her eyes and a white outfit, and the way she is rooted in place hardly looks like an ordinary shopper going about their day. He admittedly does give her ample time to go back around the corner, so this could have been planned. We've all been warned never to pick up hitchhikers, but that advice especially goes for paranormal ones. This dash cam footage was posted in July of 2019. The dash cam's clock shows that the clip was taken around 2 in the morning. If you blink, you'll miss it, so pay careful attention. Driving down a dark and empty highway, the car is traveling at a fairly fast speed when off to its right, in the empty lane, appears a figure. Some say it has its thumb out for a ride. Do you see it? Is it a ghost? Or is it just a regular person with a bad wish? After all, who hails a ride in the middle of the road during the darkness of night? Only someone who's looking to get run over, or at least doesn't mind testing fate, whether ghost or real boy. This isn't something you want to see while driving down a dark road at 2am. It might very well say send you into a terrified tailspin, making you the next ghost on the highway. World famous athlete Lionel Messi was the world's highest paid soccer player for six years straight. And before I get flooded with comments, let's all acknowledge the sport is called football everywhere else in the world besides North America. But Messi also has another distinction, being one of the only soccer players to have a paranormal moment caught on live television. He is doing an interview from home when this mysterious figure is seen in the window. This could be someone from the media, but there's only one problem. This seems to be an interview done over the computer, meaning no need for a television crew here. Messi doesn't seem phased by the figure, so it might have been a family member or a friend in the room with him. With that said, the way they stand still is a statue the whole time. Has people wondering if this was a real ghost sighting video or not. If this were paranormal, I think he would have turned around, but unless he addresses the video, I guess we won't know for sure. Michael Andurez is in a car full of friends when they hear a distant voice call out from the nearby woods. I didn't really hear much the first time I watched, but when they slow it down, you can clearly hear someone say something like, Help me, guys. I think this could be paranormal, because it doesn't sound like a normal human voice at all. Theoretically speaking, 
a person screaming at a speeding car with the windows rolled up would almost certainly not be heard by anybody inside. A strange creature sighting in Russia on a store camera is about as creepy and mysterious as it gets. Two people are standing outside late at night, and all of a sudden one of them is dumped on the ground. You can see something invade his space. At 12 seconds just before he falls, the other man tries to help but is of little use. Whatever has a hold on his friend is too strong, and so he runs back into the store. At 21 seconds, something briefly appears to hover over the poor man, a strange creature with little shape, perhaps paranormal, and he is pulled off camera. After 10 seconds, it looks like the creature has left, and so the second man goes to check on his friend. At 42 seconds, something invisible splashes a puddle in front of him, and his friend is flung through the entrance. Low quality CCTV videos are pretty easy to edit, so this video might be a fake. What do you think? Two friends are hanging out when one challenges the other to make a real ghost video in the closet of his haunted house to see what paranormal activity takes place. His friend only half believes him, so imagine his surprise at the scary moments caught on camera next. Don't swear today. Just go away. Wait, what was that? What was that? Oh my god, what's that? What is it? It's gone. His skepticism melts when a pale face regards them from the darkness. As they ask each other what it is, the figure moves away from them and they dare not follow. This creepy video could simply be someone shining a flashlight in their face to create the illusion of a ghost, except for one thing. There are two dark holes where the eyes should be. This looks like it could be a black-eyed ghost sighting as they are known to follow people home after exploring the forest, but the most likely scenario is that this is just a mannequin and nothing more. Whatever it is, it's not a person, and there's just enough room for speculation to make you wonder if the scary stuff in this video is real. Only they know if this was a real ghost video or not. Surveillance cameras sometimes capture images you just can't handle. Posted by one Dante one to the Sir Spoop subreddit, you might want to stay inside at night after watching this clip. Dante explains that they put out trail cams because they lost their cat. While they were working out in their garage at night, they set off their motion detector and, a moment later, caught this on camera. The clip plainly shows the men working in the light of the garage. Night has fallen, and the rest of the scene is quite dark. That is, until a phantom spirit drifts into view. The vapor-like phantom has a human figure and flies in from the top right of the screen. In fact, it appears as though the figure strolls right into the frame. MuggleMad32 writes, This is a really good capture of an apparition. While Explore with Sunny adds that it's pretty unexplainable. Is it truly unexplainable? If so, do you hold the key to the explanation? Unfortunately, this clip isn't longer, or we may have seen where this phantom is off to. Let's hope he didn't do anything to that poor cat. Is this a man or a monster? Posted to TikTok by Club de Dos Canito One. I think it might be both. <laughs> I'm personally not sure what to make of this clip, but most folks in the comments are making references to Spider-Man. I agree with them on one point. This does look a little like a man morphing into a spider. These two scary videos were both captured in cemeteries. Published by Jesus Guadalajara in June of 2018, a strange figure appears in the top corner of the footage early in the clip. I got Easter eggs right there. The figure seems to fly in and out of view very briefly, after which you can hear what sounds like high pitched laughter. Where? Too creepy for me. In the second video, published by Ghost Adventures of Cornwall in May of 2021, Mark captures a bright greenish yellow orb floating amongst the tombstones. Whoa, thank you, spirits. Thank you. Thank you for showing yourself. 
Wow! That's amazing! Mark is very encouraging of the orb as it appears and then leaves for a moment, only to appear again. Wow! That's amazing, man! Look at that! He's shown himself! I feel it's a man! One viewer in the comments says the color yellow is considered positive, so perhaps this is a good spirit. Are these spirits hanging around for their own reasons, or do they reappear to provide the living evidence of the afterlife? This house guest is Eternal. Published by Jojo Owens in February of 2022, Jojo explains that he, his wife, and several guests in his home had witnessed a shadow-like movement in the living room out of the corner of their eyes. That's why when Owens heard a noise in the back room one night while his wife was sleeping, he set up his phone camera to record. This is what he captured. A tall shadowy figure is seen moving across the lit doorway at the end of the room. After witnessing this, Owens grabbed his phone camera to investigate, but turned up nothing. Neither was there anything in the room that might cast this shadow. Although one commenter suggested that there may be someone squatting in the Owens' home, Owens said this has been going on for three years, so it's highly unlikely. To whom does this shadow belong then? A group of ghost hunters are exploring a notoriously haunted retirement home in Ohio at 1 a.m. when they manage to find something strange and unsettling. Under the bathroom. Here it is again at half speed. One of the ghost hunters barely manages to catch this fleeting shadow while turning around. The room to the right is completely empty and nobody is inside, plus everybody else is in a different section of the house. It doesn't look like the camera is simply adjusting to different lighting conditions, so there really is absolutely no reason for a shadow to be on the right side of the screen like that. To me, it looks like something is possibly making a quick escape. This exclusive video was submitted by a redditor named Babe of the Dead on the Chills Narrator subreddit. While lying in bed making a random video, she hears four knocks late at night. She looks up in time to see her life-sized stuffed bear apparently come to life. The bear is square against the wall with no room for anyone to sit behind and move its arm. Some people say it's a spirit. Well, one person suggested that a person could fit inside if they took out the stuffing. Which is super creepy considering Babe of the Dead has no idea who it could have been. Who do you think it was? I have no idea aside from astoundingly scary. Would you ever purchase a house knowing that somebody passed away in it? Posted to TikTok by Don't Be an Ash Hole. This person wasn't bothered, that is, until she ripped up the carpet on the floorboards. A body outline is found with the case number and dates written beneath one arm. I wasn't bothered knowing someone died in my new house. But imagine my surprise when I ripped up the floor. There's also a stain on one side of the outline. So did the person just pass away, or was his life taken? Some are debating in the comments whether this is real or not, saying that the floorboards would be replaced as a biohazard, and that they don't draw these outlines anymore, as doing so can contaminate evidence. So is this just a trick by previous homeowners, as some TikTokers are suggesting? Talk about leaving a mark on a place. This scary home CCTV video shows why you should never leave your cooking unattended. In less than a minute, their entire countertop is covered in flames. The wife makes the mistake of trying to grab the flaming pot barehanded to put it in the oven and only sends a cascade of flames to the floor. But it's the husband who makes the ultimate mistake. He throws water on the flames, which is not what you do in a grease fire, because this only makes the grease splash and spread the flames around. Everyone is okay and the fire goes out, but this method could have seriously burnt the house down. From what I've read, he could have put something large over the fire. Smothering it deprives the flames of oxygen and makes them go out. 
That fire was already really big though, so I don't know what he could have covered it with. To me, this video is a good example of why you should always have a fire extinguisher somewhere in your house and make sure you have it inspected from time to time to make sure it works. When something terrifying like this happens and you need it most. One day, a student named Ella got her entire hand stuck in a paper towel dispenser. I'm not sure how she did this and neither do her classmates. All I know is she seems majorly stuck and nobody can free her hand for the entire video. Pulling her arm doesn't help and seems to only make things worse. My question, besides how did this happen, is what can be done to get her out? I'm thinking an ambulance probably had to be called to dismantle the dispenser, or at least take it off the wall, but we'll never know for sure because the video is only a minute and 16 seconds long. This Colombian video from 2008 is apparently the last footage taken by four men that disappeared, found inside an abandoned car. The footage shows the men driving towards a strange person dressed in all white, possibly a wedding dress. They slowly approach the person and attempt to drive around them, and that's where the video ends. What happens next is a complete mystery, since this was the only footage found. Skeptics have been unable to debunk this video or find the whereabouts of the disappeared men that were mentioned. It appears whoever was standing on the road that night will remain a mystery. This scary randonautica is brought to you by YouTuber CJ Faison. While in Las Vegas, CJ ventured out to the random location he was sent to by the app. The randonautica takes CJ and his crew into the middle of the desert, where they discover a photo of CJ taken with some female fans at the Mirage Hotel from 2014. I'm literally shaking. I have chills open out my body. We've got at nothing all day long. Look at that. We've been struggling. What was that? Yo! That's a picture of me! Yeah. CJ says that one of the girls in the photo is named Julia. Alongside the photo is a note that includes CJ's full name and some other personal information. The dark haired girl in the middle, I met her in 2000, and I believe it was 2013 when I was racing in NASCAR at Richmond International Speedway. Nearby, they also discover a wallet with some random stuff in it, including a room key for the Luxor, which is where CJ is staying. Uh, makes sense because we're in Vegas. There's another Luxor room key. Oh, dude. I'm staying at the f***ing Luxor. As they ponder this mystery in the desert, a couple of cars pass by and a girl shouts out at them. Rando Nautica video, boys, come on. Is it Julia? A YouTuber recalls another video that CJ shot where he's reading texts about him from Aaron Valentino. The YouTuber notes that these texts mention the year 2014. Very well that you have stumbled upon this phone. I know many things about you. I know that you wish you could change some things that happened to your life in 2014. The same year listed on Julia's picture, as well as the quote that CJ read on the back of the photograph. The quote was, The ones who aren't afraid control life itself, which is a quote from infamous Richard Ramirez, aka the Night Stalker. Um, yikes. Later, the crew notices something off in the distance watching them. Hold on, give me a sec. Let me zoom out first. It's right there. Oh. Person. Can you record that for the video? Did someone plant this stuff here? Is that someone watching the group across several randonauticas from Pokemon Forest in Maryland to the desert outside of Las Vegas, Nevada? Several YouTubers in the comments think this crew is being tracked or their phones have been hacked into. Perhaps these randonauticas aren't so random after all. This rare footage of a sewer monster is brief but frightening. The video seems to capture a glimpse of something large with a tail launching around the underground. The black and white adds to the creepiness of the footage when suddenly something the size of a kangaroo moves swiftly past and out of sight. 
Although not quite as unsettling in movement as a creepy critter might be, whatever this strange being is, it looks completely out of place in the sewage system. Any idea what this strange creature could be? A scary video recovered from WhatsApp begins with an evil laugh and ends with a scream. Wait, has any... I'm not sure what they've caught on camera. Some kind of twisted half torso with a demented laugh it would seem. The strange form leaves the terrified man screaming, and as he runs, a chair moves out on his own with no one under the table, and no jump cuts or other editing tricks that I can make out. A Russian YouTuber named Fickfoss decides to feed a bear a late night fish snack through his window. There's only one problem. Supplies are limited, and the bear seems to want to help itself to everything at once. Multiple times it has to be reminded to mind its manners. And at 24 seconds, you can see for yourself that I'm not exaggerating when I say its paw is the size of your head, with long black claws the size of your whole finger. Feeding time becomes less fun when you realize the only way to close this window is by reaching out into the darkness past the hungry bear's mouth to grab this latch. They wait until it walks away satisfied before closing the window. Thankfully, it didn't try to get in this time, but bears have a long memory, and surely it will be back when it's hungry. Perhaps next time for them if no fish is available. A creepy dash cam video from Saudi Arabia shows a woman sitting in the middle of a busy highway. She seems to be stuck in a trance as she stares straight ahead, taking a high beam to the face without looking down or covering her eyes. It's unclear how long she has been here for, or for how much longer she intends to stay. Meanwhile, the driver seems to be having a conversation with a young passenger. They don't speak much, but tell me what is being said here during this short exchange if you can. <laughs> Just when it seems like they are about to pull around her, the mysterious figure speaks in a shrill voice. Two people approach her in uniform, probably police, and she waves them off. I imagine that they are telling her this is unsafe, but apparently she doesn't want any of their help and seems perfectly content screaming in the street. I have no idea what information could be so important that she feels the need to do this. Some people are saying this is a witch sighting, and that she is foretelling a future of some kind. Something possibly of terrible proportions that you and I definitely don't want to come true. No no matter what the situation is, I really hope she gets the help she so clearly needs. Security camera footage of the suspect of an event is often something that will stick with you. Posted to YouTube by David Lohr, this video might one day help close the case of Jennifer Kessie. Kessie disappeared from her home in Orlando, Florida in January of 2006. Her vehicle was discovered about a mile from her home at a condominium complex with valuables inside. This clip is the surveillance footage from the complex where her vehicle was found. The video shows an unknown individual park the car, exit the vehicle, and leave. But unfortunately, the clipped footage does not show any distinctive identifying facial features, not even the person's gender, as the figure's facial features are carefully hidden by the gate as he or she walks by. Kessie's apartment building had been under construction with around half of the 200 units unoccupied. Kessie had told her friends prior to going missing that can construction workers within her complex made her feel uneasy. Some of these workers resided in the unoccupied units during construction. While some speculate that one of these workers took Kessie, no evidence has proven this case. Kessie vanished without a trace. Multiple suspect leads led to nothing. Kessie remains on the most wanted list, with only this eerie footage to help solve the case. A team of paranormal experts head to the abandoned county jail in Gonzales, Texas to prove it is really haunted. After exploring for a while, all of them agree that they are feeling an intense anger for no real reason. Finally, one of them decides to confront whatever is responsible for causing their heightened emotional state. We've been feeling a lot of anger. 
and I want to know why. The question is met with even greater anger in return. You alright? <laughs> According to them, an invisible hand slides around his throat and tightly squeezes. The retching noises he makes afterwards seems very real. <laughs> He runs out of the building and his eyes appear red and watery immediately afterwards. I feel the pressure right now on my neck. Look at your- man, you gotta see your eyes. I'm gonna flip the screen so you can see your eyes, man. Look at your eyes. Unless he is somehow able to give himself fully red eyes on command, all of this evidence makes me believe that this ghost incident could have been real. Posted to the r slash chills narrator subreddit, Nick Chocolate 19 posted two videos from the same night on a doorbell cam. The redditor writes, On January 10th, 2022, at approximately 9pm that night, my family noticed something weird on the doorbell camera. The orb-like item kept coming into view and setting off the security alerts all night long. Any idea what this could have been? An orb can be seen floating on the right-hand side, and it doesn't appear to to be going anywhere. The Redditor posted a second video writing, I posted a video yesterday about an orb on my doorbell cam. I'm posting another video because I want to show it couldn't be something like a helicopter. This is from 6.08am. It did this all night from 9pm. The fact that the orb was visible all night makes it less likely that it's just a camera glitch in my opinion. What do you think this is? A YouTuber named Revo X encounters a wild pheasant in the graveyard that is not at all afraid. The colorful bird looks over its shoulder to make sure he is watching and then takes the lead, guiding him someplace quite important that I'll reveal in just a moment. It hops off the road and at 1 minute and 8 seconds walks this little beaten trail of matted grass. Have you ever seen anything like it before? that's been trampled over many times before. The determined little bird stops and circles back to the human, again showing absolutely no signs of fear. It even looks straight at him, at the end like it knows what is being said. There's my mum's grave. And it will remain, as it has done for the past few days, going round and round it. So is this a real spirit guide or just a pet? Some Native Americans believed pheasants to be a sign of protection and concealment because they like to bury themselves in tall grass, a creepy behavior when taken within the context of a graveyard. They can be tamed, but even if this is a pet, I don't think you can teach it to lead you somewhere for over a minute, and I never see it get a food treat as a reward or anything, so I think it's real. Daniel lives way out in the country and rather than paying someone to remove the leaves around his house, he chooses to burn them instead. He stands at the edge of a controlled fire and takes this quick video. <laughs> oh yeah, lots of fire. Oh yeah, lots of fire. Off the distance, a two-legged creature about the same size as Daniel sprints away in the opposite direction as fast as it can. Keep in mind that Daniel lives out in the Oklahoma wilderness and has no neighbors. I really can't think of any forest animal that looks like this, so maybe the controlled burn accidentally flushed out a rare humanoid creature. With no other footage of the creature, we will probably never know what it truly is. This clip calls into question whether or not there's life on Mars. According to Redditor GamersGen, this video was captured by NASA's Curiosity rover over Mars. On the 23rd of August 2012, GamersGen linked an AI-enhanced version in 4K to the post. The video is actually a series of photographs, so the rate at which it appears to fly is inaccurate. Regardless, the photo series shows an unknown flying device moving over the horizon of the planet's Barrett landscape. It flies to a point where it hovers overhead for a moment before moving off and out of sight. Well, of course, many call fake in the comments. Others claim it could be part of something larger. However, a Redditor throws down some math, noting that the rover supposedly takes a photo every five minutes. If this is the case, it's pretty unusual that nothing changed on the planet's surface, nor did the light or rover shift in that amount of time. Logical, but then again, X-Files advises us to 
Trust no one. A CCTV video captures an ill-mannered apparition as it ravages a store just 20 minutes shy of 3 a.m. It slinks across the far wall first, knocking two items off the opposite shelf as it moves down the aisle. To be honest though, the way this object on the top shelf gets caught at 13 seconds looks like it could be pulled by a string. Next, the shadow somehow passes across the aisle without appearing in the glass or the bright reflection on the floor. A minute later, the door to the cooler shakes hard enough to rattle the glass in its pane. Camera 7 shows the outside of the cooler, and Camera 8 shows the inside. Nobody is anywhere nearby, or in the entire store for the matter, and yet the door shakes uncontrollably. I think this could be a real poltergeist, because of one simple fact. This door is airtight to keep the drinks cold, it has no knob to grab onto, and must be opened with a button on the wall. Therefore, I don't think somebody could have made it shake like this, even if they stood on the other side and tried. This strange creature sighting while exploring an abandoned house deserves more attention and a closer analysis. An urban explorer is walking down the hallway when they see a small black object move in response to being caught on camera. It looks like an unknown creature at first. I can make out the reflective surface of what could be an eye, but it kind of looks like somebody is moving like a stuffed animal or something. Most people in the comments are saying that strange creatures are known to hide in abandoned buildings and believe this video is real. Only a very small amount of people seem to think this is flat out fake, so I was wondering what you think of this video. I think it could be real, but I'd be more willing to believe that this is a kid's doll moving on its own, which is just as creepy as a real creature sighting would be, if not creepier. Even dogs have the sense to be aware of this spirit, published by Scary desk in January of 2022, a security camera captured two dogs in an alleyway. Acting suspicious, the dogs are seen watching something as of yet unseen. They then start to move away down the alley, looking over their shoulders. That's when the camera captures this shadow figure moving down the alley. The figure is distorted at first, but then becomes more human in form as it moves down the pike. Still, the figure is not solid, but a semi-transparent shadow. Some in the comments think the video has been manipulated, while others say they've seen ghosts like this and believe the footage is authentic. Whatever the case, the dogs definitely see the figure, or sense that it's there. What do you think? I think something mysterious is going on here. A ring doorbell camera caught this video of a scary clown lurking around the neighborhood, and it has everyone freaking out. A total stranger stands with their head bent at an extreme angle, examining the doorbell camera before a noise startles them, and they slowly back away like they were about to do something wrong. This was taken four days before Halloween, so it's probably somebody who is super excited and just wanted to creep people out early this year. Still, no friends are with them as they lurk around people's property uninvited, and no one in the neighborhood recognizes them, so who knows what they're up to. Also, notice how they didn't go back to the sidewalk. They go through the yard like they're either about to look in the next house or try a window. It might be four days before Halloween, but maybe they're using using this as cover to case houses in the near future. Do you believe in the paranormal? Are you paranoid someone's watching? Then the paranormal paranoids are here to guide you. Introducing your guides, Peter, Laura, David, and Riley. These videos were posted by the Twitter account Just the Paranoid. The first video is set in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. The crew enters a wooded area, and Riley explains why they're here. She says that to the locals, these woods are a setting for a sinister story. To most people, this forest is the same as any, but to the people of Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, who remember what occurred in 1994, these woods hold a sinister story. 
1994, a young married couple crossed paths with a lifeless body along the path. Mary Talbert had sadly taken her own life, being that she did so on a very public path. The takeaway is that Mary wanted to be found. The group paused near the tree where it happened. This is where it happened. It was almost as if she wanted to be found, wanted to be seen. They pose for pictures and leave. While watching the footage back, they discovered a few things they hadn't noticed in person. Upon first entering the woods, a disembodied face appears in the trees. I don't think it's there, Peter. <laughs> you sure? You, you. Yeah. <laughs> Later, as they are leaving, the camera catches someone standing behind a tree, perhaps watching them, but the creepiest image comes as they are posing for pictures near Mary's tree. Lurking in the distance is a figure that looks as though it's wearing a cloak with something draped over its face. Are you paranoid yet? If not, take a journey through Dark County Correctional Facility with the Paranormal Paranoid crew in their second video. It all happened here, inside of these walls. While they are wandering through, Peter is observing letters written on a window when they hear something in the next room. What is that? but they could find nothing there. They continue on, heading upstairs, where they discover a bunch of books open on a counter. They wander through the area where prisoners were kept in solitary confinement. And the inmates that were brought here in the 1930s, they were maximum security. Then up a narrow staircase and back to more prison cells. Did you do that? Hey, wait, did you do that? I didn't touch anything. Riley is leading the way when suddenly she stops and her face is full of fear. She said she suddenly felt cold and you can literally see her breath on video. Yeah, I feel what? Cold. Oh, shit. Riley, what? What? According to the crew, the camera cut out and didn't record anything for a couple minutes. When it returns, they cast a light down one hall, which shows just how far and deep this well goes. Look at this. How far back does that go? I have no idea. It's pretty cool, yeah, sorry. So, get this shot and just how many prisoner stories it holds. One last tour by the Paranormal Paranoid see the crew at Lincoln Elementary, whose haunted halls have stories to tell. So we made it. Lincoln Elementary. This school has an incredible haunted history, dating all the way back to 1976. One morning in 1976, staff showed up to a filthy school. Although they called the janitor, there was no answer. Upon entering the janitor's closet to obtain cleaning supplies, they discovered the janitor passed away in an horrific fashion. According to Riley, every bone in the janitor's body was broken and his mop was shoved down his throat with just the strings hanging out. Ever since, the place has cycled through janitors with no one staying long as mysterious things kept happening. Rooms that had already been mysteriously cleaned, a solidly locked janitor's closet. Is the legend true? David, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. They enter the school and for some reason, head exactly where you wouldn't want to go, into the basement. That's when this happens. Though the bang terrifies them, they continue on, heading into what appears to be the boiler room. Something is clanging around. And then there's another big bang. Ah! 
As they panic, what they see next freaks them out even more. A quiet whistle alerts them to a figure with a white face and glowing eyes standing in a doorway. He shuts the door as they take off in fear up the stairs. Are the paranormal paranoids on to something? Whether or not they attract the paranormal, their paranoia seems more than justified. <laughs> Rian Silver is a paranormal explorer who searches every abandoned house that he can find in the hopes that it's haunted by a djinn for him to catch on camera. Most of his videos have absolutely nothing paranormal in them. Seemingly an abandoned house with nothing in it, just 20 minutes of creeping around empty room after room. But one of his scariest videos of all is paranormal beyond belief and has left him seriously creeped out ever since. He calls it the real horror house. Here's why. A strange sensation leaves him shaking before he's even cleared the main floor. The real horror house is different. From any place he's ever been before, it feels truly haunted. At 2 minutes and 8 seconds, a pair of glowing eyes stares at them from the window. It's not a cat. 9 seconds later, this creature with glowing eyes is seen outside the doorway. As they are leaving the room, a faint groan is heard behind them. As they reach the top of the stairs, they see another shadow figure that dips into the doorway upon their approach. They pursue and the weirdness follows close behind. A sudden chill gives Riyan raised goosebumps. He's showing them to the camera when all of the sudden. Bone chilling laughter now fills the abandoned house. I was thinking maybe it's people playing outside, but who would be playing in the middle of the night by an abandoned house? I think it's coming from inside and very close by. <laughs> Things get even more creepy when they reach the basement. Down here is where they find a single square opening to a secret hidden holding room with no way out. It looks like somebody might have been kept in this secret room for a long time. Riyan doesn't dare climb in, but who knows what they would have discovered if he did. Could something in this creepy room also be the source of whatever's haunting this abandoned building? When they record inside, this freaky EVP is what's caught on camera. <laughs> A tiny voice screams up at them from within, very faint but unmistakable when you hear it. Is this the final resting place of someone who fell in and can't get out? I think that might be the case. It's 6 in the morning and a YouTuber named Sheezy is about to go home after a long shift at the hospital. All he needs to do is return this one ton x-ray machine and then clock out. Unfortunately for him, the elevator gets stuck on the fifth floor and suddenly drops to the first floor without warning. It happens so fast that the floor numbers don't even register until the very end, but it's not over yet. 
The elevator rushes from the ground floor to the fifth floor, ready to drop again. And if that x-ray machine slides back and pins him against the wall, it wouldn't matter if he's at a hospital or not, because it's going to flatten him in seconds. This time, he hits the emergency stop before he can drop again. After a minute and a half, engineers rush to get him out of there. And we are hurrying. Luckily, our house has sprinklers. When it was built, we've only been in this house for a week and a half. But we're getting everything that's important. And we're getting out of here. This scary GoPro video sounds like the final moments of a family fleeting in terror from their haunted home, but that's not what's happening. Midnight is when Tyson and Haley get a phone call that they have to evacuate fast, not from something paranormal, but a situation just as terrifying nonetheless. Flames are tearing up the mountainside and heading towards their home. Now they have to keep their oldest son occupied and unafraid while not panicking themselves trying their best to navigate around closed roads and other hazards. You can tell the father wants to scream, but he doesn't want to freak their kids out. So this is how he talks. That's not good at all, huh, buddy? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I want to go up there. What will happen if the fire comes to our car? We would turn around and drive away. He's definitely a good father for not scaring his children, but the reality of the situation is, at least from what I can tell, that they are low on gas and stuck in traffic without much control over where they go next. Police are frantically trying to direct traffic and stay in communication with the fire department to guide cars away from the blazing inferno, and it isn't looking too good for them. Eventually, they break away and find a moment to collect themselves at the gas pump. As they watch the inferno in the distance, adrenaline finally wearing off, it occurs to them just how close to being goners they really were. I've never had that feeling or adrenaline rush before. That was crazy. I'm really glad this wasn't the family's final moments caught on GoPro and hope they have some good memories ahead to help balance out this horrifying event. If a disembodied voice tells you to leave, you should probably listen. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Mads Entertain, the Redditor was given a warning that might be worth heeding. As he and a friend enter an abandoned house, about one minute into the clip, a creepy old lady voice orders them to leave. They don't leave. Instead, they search the barren house up to the second floor. After exploring, the Redditor is doing his outro when something bangs overhead. If you're new to our channel again, don't forget to smash that uh, like button, subscribe uh, for new content every Sunday. It sounds like it's coming from upstairs. They hurry out of the house, and the Redditor explains that they had to cut, because after hearing that bang, they heard scraping against the walls and the sound of a door opening. Well, the voice had warned them. What did they expect? You might think you've got nerves of steel. This video was posted to the very spooky video subreddit by Paconic. In the video, the likely US-based officer pulls over a driver at night, approaches the driver's side door with a flashlight to question him, but then never gets the chance. The dash cam footage shows what happens inside. A bright light bursts from the sky, causing the patrolman to stagger a little bit before he vanishes. Leaving a steaming clothes behind in a pile beside the vehicle, the car then speeds off either out of fear for what just happened or to flee the scene. Having been an active participant in the officer's vaporization, we're left to wonder which it is. The clip first appeared on the YouTube channel from Tim Beckers, who said, I downloaded the video and shared it with a couple of my friends in the community, and they all told me the same. This footage looks real and it could change everything we know. What do you think? Could this be real or a clever fake? Meteors keep flying over Japan and they keep getting weirder each time. This relatively normal one, spotted in February of 2013, 
looks to be on a downward course until it burns up in the atmosphere at the last second. Then just one year later, another one manages to get even closer, this time piercing a cloud. Legend has it this former asylum is haunted, and this video appears to be proof of it, posted by Zombie Platypus to the Ghosts subreddit. The Redditor says this was filmed in what used to be the living quarters at a mental institution called CSUCI. The quarters are now a modern dorm room. The clip shows a plate of shrimp moving across the counter on its own for more than half a minute. Its movement is jarring, as if it's being nudged around the counter every so often. Zombie Platypus explains that they started filming when one of them saw a quick but long movement that made them scream. She says no magnets or strings were used, and the dishwasher wasn't on. Most commenters agree with Redditor, Difit H, who suggests this may not be paranormal activity at all. He writes, If the bottom of the plate has a lip, and it is wet causing a nice seal, and you put hot food on the plate, and if the counter is ever so slanted, it can cause the plate to move, the steam causing a hovercraft-like effect. However, the Redditor says that when they tried to recreate the situation under the exact same conditions, they never could get it to move like that. A few Redditors in the comments don't have an answer answer for the Redditor, but having visited the campus, acknowledged that the place made them uncomfortable and gave them the heebie-jeebies. Is it just the creepy history of the former institute that pushes us towards a paranormal explanation, or are former patients just hungry? I'm April and Kevin of a YouTube channel called AK Explorations team up with some of their ghost hunting friends to take on the Florida Grand Opera House, a historic location established in 1884 that is rumored to have acquired quite a few spirits. Over the past 135 years, April stands behind the scenes and gazes upon a row after row of empty seats. She's busy taking in the sights when she captures this paranormal moment on camera. At 4 minutes and 48 seconds, a shadow figure walks between the red curtains on the other side of the opera. I was thinking that this could have just been the shadow of one of the other people she was with, except for three things. First, there's also a passing shadow on her side of the room at 4 minutes and 46 seconds. It happens next to her, and exactly two seconds before it happens again on the other side of the room. Second, there's a really weird noise before the shadow person appears. She kind of makes a sigh, but there's also like a shrieking noise or something at the same time. Third of all, these orbs appear when she tries to tell Kevin about the experience. Who's back there? I waited. I saw someone walk back there. Next, they go to the balcony seats, and a strange feeling overtakes April at 7 minutes and 27 seconds. Weird up here, guys. Let's sit here for a minute. Actually, here for a minute. This strange white anomaly appears two seconds after she says she doesn't feel normal up here. It does look like a floating hair, but it also kind of looks like a phantom outline walking down the steps. The feeling grows so strong that she needs to step away and regather her thoughts. She turns around and is sure she's being watched again, and I'm almost sure I see the curtains move right where she believes it to be. Guys, it feels really weird. Chelsea's doing her um, awfulness down there. When AK Explorations aren't exploring fancy operas, they are usually busy investigating much less sophisticated haunts, like this chicken farm in the middle of nowhere. Eyes are on them from afar before they've even stepped foot inside, hopefully those of a wild animal rather than a restless spirit, though probably the latter based on what they soon encounter. Middle of the night by ourselves. April immediately feels watched as they enter the abandoned home. She turns around and her light barely manages to catch more eyes, along with whatever this is. Sorry, I heard something behind me. It's a different color than the surrounding green plants, and it looks much closer than anything else, possibly even on the porch with her. She doesn't notice and moves on. Inside, all of the windows are blacked out so that no light gets through. 
though I don't know why anyone would choose to do this, and I was hoping you might have a reason for it. In the corner of the living room is a knotted rope surrounded by flies. I don't know what happened here, but I'm glad they didn't check to see what's inside the black garbage bag right next to the rope. Next, April and Kevin sweep over the house with a black light to see if there are any signs of a struggle. Sure enough, at 10 minutes and 33 seconds, they find a red stain on the bed that is not visible without their equipment. A second similar red stain is found on the mattress at 10 minutes and 42 seconds, so something happened here. A noise interrupts April right as she suspects someone could still be in here. Do you hear that? I'll admit that I didn't hear anything at first, but soon a strange hum fills the air. This house has no power, so nothing should be humming at all. You really hear it at 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Babe, come here. Oh, come here, let's go ahead. The noise guides them to one room in particular. Something in their mind tells them not to go any further. A sixth sense warning that danger is near. April reasons that the floor might not be able to support their weight, but I'm pretty sure they felt the presence of whatever this is. Is this just, you think it's safe to walk on? It's a noise they do not hear until they watch the video much later. Looking back, all they knew was that it was time to leave. Nine armed police officers in Seattle, Washington gear up and head to a home residence after receiving this urgent 911 call. Yeah, my name's uh, Flaming Bond and I have five hostages in my house at the moment. I have five grand, I'm gonna kill them all. They cover themselves on all sides and bang on the door, ready for someone to come out at any second. Instead, this person meekly answers. Hello, Seattle Police. Are you okay? Can you step out for just a second? Is anybody else inside? She says that she is alone and has no idea what is going on or why anyone would call 911 on her apartment. They question her for a little bit and determine she is in no danger. I have little doubt that this is yet another prank where people will report a false emergency at someone else's address in order to get a police response. This usually happens over pointless disagreements in video games, and now that I think about it, whoever called the police appears to have given a screen name at the beginning. Listen to this part and tell me if you can understand the gamer tag they give. Yeah, my name's uh, Flaming Bot. Uh, Flaming Bot. The zombie road in Missouri is purportedly haunted, and YouTube Team Soul Searching is investigating it themselves. As they start on the trail, they receive a message from the beyond. I know that's kind of weird that it said seeds because that's usually my thing. I bring seeds. It's asking for the seeds, and we don't have them. It's going to be. I know, because I switched from my camera bag <laughs> too. The YouTuber leaves her camera on while walking, and the audio captures this. A cannon from the Civil War. Could be. Yeah. There's Civil War ghost on this room. That really did sound like a cannon to me. Later, they capture an EVP on their digital recorder. That box, that white noise. Can you tell us your name? It's trying, but the Faraday can't. <laughs> can you tell us? Can you tell us? Can you tell? They believe it sounds like I am here, but I'm not sure if I hear that. However, it does sound to me like a whisper. As they continue, another unexplained noise is captured. This voice that they hear sounds rather mechanical. Could it simply be the sound of one of their devices? Well, I can't say for sure that Zombie Road is haunted based on these findings. The ghostly cannon strikes me as a true Civil War curse. A YouTuber named Nerdy Gamer records someone standing outside of his San Antonio home in a clown outfit with a bright red balloon. He opens the door and the two share a tense stare down before exchanging words. The stranger does not respond to warnings or even flat out threats. 
However, they do shuffle around for a bit each time after he speaks, which shows that they are at least contemplating what he says. Creeping right there by my driveway, just staring there. About, he's been there for about 15 minutes. Yeah, you need to leave, yo. I already caught the cops. Yo, you need to leave. I'm being dead serious. I will hit you. Finally, he grows tired of the one-sided exchange and waits for police. No follow-up was recorded after this part. So was this a skit, or did a silent clown really come bother a YouTuber at his own home? Emergency workers gather outside of a room where something terrible has happened and lives were possibly lost. As the camera zooms in, it catches a scary-looking figure peering back at them. Its neck twisted so many times that it has become long and thin. The closer they zoom in, the more facial detail I see. Its face is half shrouded in darkness, but I can see the eyes, and it has tall black hair. Or maybe it's simply a crack in the wall. Geshmok has a YouTube page full of regular vacation videos and then one creepy paranormal video. This one, an abandoned house he found while exploring a suburb of Los Angeles. There are supposed to be two ghost sightings caught on video, but are they real? Let's take a look. A lot of comments say this is an apparition wearing a white dress in the window here. It's hard to see so you must pay attention. The ghost is wearing some kind of belt sash, like a bridal dress and she is looking down with her hair over her eyes, or maybe a bride's veal. Can you see it? In reality, I'm pretty sure it's just glare from the sun. This second ghost sighting is much more bizarre and likely to be real. Check out this window at 6 minutes and 13 seconds. Something lifts the curtains and a face is caught in the window for a brief moment. When I point at its all black eye, the rest kind of falls in place. You can see the nose and tight-lipped expression underneath. Definitely not human. And if it's a reflection of something outside, then I don't know what it could be. With the video title, Doberman vs. Mailman, I think we're all expecting there's a dog at this street address who is really tired of seeing this mailman, and today it's going to deliver him a final message of its own to stay away. The mailman slowly approaches. Clearly, he's dealt with this Doberman before, but as the Doberman isn't doing the same slow approach, he quickly turns around and is soon being chased, running for his life. The dog catches up quickly and appears to snatch something from him and heads back to the house. The mailman's demeanor switches from terrified to looking like he's having a fun time. So maybe he was in on this from the start, or maybe he's happy the Doberman didn't try to snatch an arm or leg instead. If you like to scrounge for snacks at night, this video will have you second guessing that midnight snack posted to Reddit by Better Than Better. The home security footage reveals a dark and seemingly empty empty kitchen at night. Around 30 seconds in, a man trudges in and opens the fridge to get a snack. While the man is standing at the fridge, drinking something, watch the teddy bear on the kitchen table. It starts moving ever so slightly, bobbing up and down, but that's not all. When the man closes the fridge and turns to leave, the baby walker next to the table does this, confused about whether he saw what he thinks he saw. The man doesn't take his eyes off the baby walker as he leaves the room, but he returns a short time later, his wife by his side, presumably to explain what happened. As he's indicating that the baby walker moved of its own accord, the teddy bear falls over, or rather seems to fly backwards, as the wife jumps out of the room and the man approaches the bear. Two of the chairs tucked under the table spring out simultaneously. If that isn't enough to scare you out of your own home, I don't know what is. I believe dealing with an incident like this is something 99% of people couldn't handle. When American Airlines Flight 280 took off from Seoul, South Korea, heading to Dallas, none of the 240 passengers aboard the flight knew they were about to take the scariest ride of their lives, but that's just what happened. <laughs> Oh, no. 
The plane encountered severe turbulence, which was caught on camera by passengers. The turbulence was so severe that the flight was diverted to Tokyo. After 15 people aboard the flight were injured, five of them being hospitalized, one passenger, Mark Stanley, an attorney in Dallas, told the morning news they were diverted after 45 plus minutes of insane turbulence. The remaining passengers were put up in Tokyo for the night, but not sure if I'd have the stomach to get back on a plane the next day. A YouTube channel called BD Ghost Hunters sent me this video of a cursed village in their home country of Bangladesh. They don't explain how or why it became cursed. Nobody ever talks about that. All anyone says is that it was abandoned long ago and that the survivors had to move across water to get away. Everyone knows not to cross the bridge because strange and scary things are waiting on the other side. <laughs> But on this night, they want to find out what their elders won't tell them, and so they step forward. There's movement in the distance, the figure of a person in the shadows, not an animal. They approach the old building and see no one is on the roof. <laughs> the BD Ghost Hunter team bravely goes upstairs to investigate the paranormal activity, and that's when things get even more bizarre. Allah <laughs> Not even Google is able to translate what they are saying, so translate this next part if possible. <laughs> I'm almost positive someone is holding the chair, but no one is there when they round the corner and it's still propped up at a weird angle. 
Anyway, that's weird, but when they reach the balcony, where the windows first open, they find nothing wrong with them. That's when they feel the curse grow stronger and turn around. <laughs> They follow the footsteps up the roof and find a door that's deadbolt locked on their side, meaning no one could have passed through. <laughs> They open a rusted door and don't find much activity at first, but that all changes soon enough. <laughs> A ghost slams shut the door while they are examining the object. They dare not go any further into this village and leave knowing nothing more about the place other than the legends are real. Do you believe them? I might. And there is literally sounds coming in my basement right now and it's freaking me out. Kids are upstairs asleep and uh, I'm gonna go down and check right now. This is. This is freaky right now because I rarely go in my basement. It's an unfinished basement. A YouTuber named an everyday Canadian has been afraid of his basement ever since he recorded an incident that he cannot explain. Oh, what the f is that sound? Fear grips his throat, but he knows what he must do. He'll never know what's causing the scary noises if his only reaction is to stand in the doorway. He knows he will be going down the stairs into the basement where a scary thing is waiting to be found. Like, I don't even want to go down there. It's dark. Hold on, guys. Let me just get my light on here quick. This is freaking me out. He thought the only thing scarier than going down there would be not knowing what it was. He was wrong. I hate basements. My laundry machine just stopped. It's just me in the basement. What the f was that? What the f Sometimes the source of a weird noise in your house is scarier than you can imagine. Sometimes going down in your basement results in witnessing paranormal activity that you wish you could erase from your camera and from your mind. And sometimes it's a toy on a string. Check out one of the scariest things caught on CCTV video at this haunted restaurant. It's a quiet Wednesday evening with hardly any customers and only a few employees clocked in. No one is nearby when this glass lurches forward in a jerky movement, so subtle that it's hard to see at first. The manager zooms in because they can't believe what they are seeing. And sure enough, four seconds later, the glass moves by itself again and tips over. They think a ghost moved the object, but I'm not so sure. I know if the bottom was wet, then condensation could have made it move across the counter on its own. So is this a ghost moving objects or just basic physics in action? The CCTV moment is too creepy for me to easily decide. Jesse and Gina are two hosts of a popular YouTube channel called BF vs GF. One night the two of them go out with another friend to explore an old prison that's supposedly haunted. A strange figure appears behind Jesse at about 11 and a half minutes into the video. Pay attention to the doorway on the left. To see if he did. So it's for you now. And uh, we did a seance. It echoes so bad. <laughs> This vanishing shadow caused a huge commotion in the comments section, but the real question is whether or not this is a shadow person or simply a person's shadow. 
I did notice that this was filmed right by the exit sign, so I wouldn't be surprised if this shadow was just a silhouette of a visitor leaving. There's just no way for me to be 100% certain, so I'd definitely like to get your opinion on this one. Onasi Olio Rojas uses Facebook Live to record himself doing 115 miles per hour on the highway in Providence, Rhode Island, blasting loud music the entire time. He thinks nothing of swerving in and out of traffic, cutting off cars over and over again while going breakneck speeds. His high-speed escapade only lasts about two minutes before he cuts into the shoulder and fails to pull off a quick two-lane change. Puppy. What you don't see in the final moments of this video is the garbage truck slamming into him from behind, sending Onasi into the concrete barrier and then into a dead stop in the middle of the road. He survived and was sentenced to six months of house arrest, followed by six months of probation. Based on this video, tell me if you think he has received a fair sentence. This door sounds like a witch and I'm not even exaggerating. Would you be able to live in a house that made this noise? <laughs> People in the comments are saying it's possessed or cursed. I'm not going that far, but I'm just saying that if any part of my house even sounds remotely like this, I'm moving far away. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Purgatory Adventures, this redditor wrote, Check out this crazy scream we captured while spending the night in a haunted location in Saskatchewan, Canada. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. See that? Yep. Kick it again. Yeah, I can see the lights. See the lights, Kate? There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Lady Mania wrote, I barely hear a scream. I only hear regular noises and the two people talking. Well, Corn TJE wrote, Sounds like a cat in my opinion. Did you hear the scream the uploader is talking about? If so, what do you think is causing it? Let me know in the comments. We're gonna analyze some strange things on this list, but this is perhaps the clearest visually. This YouTuber published three videos of this sighting in April of 2014 writing, Original raw footage found of the Turkey UFO seen by dozens of residents between 2007 and 2009. The clip is perhaps one of the clearest I've seen in recent memory. Its shape is unlike that of any man-made air vehicle, as are its lights, which slant along the wings of the aircraft. The clip captures a close-up as well as footage of the object at a distance. It's certainly a strange sight in the sky over Turkey, with some in the YouTube comments calling it the real thing and one of the most important captures ever. Most in the comments rave at the quality of the image, being that most UFO captures are blurry, low-quality footage. With nearly six minutes in this video clip and two other clips to follow, we're hard put to explain what this could be but the real thing. A woman uses Snapchat to confront a ghost who has been haunting her house for eight years. Are you there? Oh, there you are. I find it interesting that the ghost disappears when she lets out a startled gasp, almost as if the ghost is anxious too. Don't be afraid. Come out. The ghost appears whenever she says hi. I'm a little frightened at the moment. I didn't expect this to work. Hi. Uh. Then again, this kind of looks like a smile, so maybe it's just the Snapchat app glitching out and not a paranormal sighting after all. An employee walks by when the corner of her hand cart gets caught on the corner of this looming wall display. She shakes it loose with a sharp tug, sending an entire wall of spiky pegged hooks cascading down. It looks like she gets taken out pretty badly. Then at the very end, she's standing off to the side, stunned but still okay. 
I'm so glad she is okay, but the thought of how this could have went wrong makes me still wish I hadn't seen this video. On September 24th, 2016, Corey McKeague went missing around the area of Bury St. Edmunds and Suffolk, England. The CCTV footage published in October of 2016 to YouTube by hashtag FindCorey shows the serviceman's last known movements. From one angle, he is seen somewhere meandering down the road, not walking a straight line. He passes two men and appears to drop something on the ground which he quickly picks up before continuing on. Another camera view shows him walking casually around a corner with his hands in his pockets. The town center footage shows McKeague enter a cul-de-sac with wheelie bins in it. This is where he was last seen. His mobile phone was tracked from this cul-de-sac to a landfill. At first, the police weren't planning to search for the missing man there, as the garbage truck along that route was only estimated to be carrying 33 pounds. Later, however, they discovered the weight was around 220 pounds. The 2.1 million euro investigation has not yet turned up Corey, although authorities believe that the missing man was crushed by a garbage can and that his passed away body is somewhere in the landfill, and some theories suggest foul play, but regardless, his disappearance remains a mystery. The search for Corey McKeague continues. Once done a harmless face swap, but what happens when the swap becomes scary? Posted by Primal Chaos and later submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, this face swap between friends took a dark turn when one of the friends left the frame, only to allow a terrifying invisible being to swap faces with the remaining friend. The scary swapped face looks demon-like, causing the dude whose face it swapped to turn around and look for the paranormal being he's been partnered with. Many in the comments of this video find this unpleasant and unexpected swap upsetting. If this happened in a dream, what might it mean? Perhaps that your dream has taken a step in another direction. That's of a nightmare. Heather of Heather Hauntings is investigating a place known as the Shadow People Trail, a name that needs no further explanation. They go to the very end of the trail where the most paranormal activity is said to occur. Ghost radar first, because that one's been working really good. Oh yeah, good. that one's been working really good. Okay. Whoa, what the f is that? It was loud. What the Oh my god, this place is so creepy. And it isn't long before they catch some creepy stuff on camera that leaves them scared. So, what the f what was that? I don't know. Terror. Terror? Yeah, I'm creeped. The scary noises coming from the woods stop for a while, and Heather's group wonders if the shadow people have left. Watch the ghost radar screen when they ask the shadow people where they went. Where'd you go? Yeah, you were all over and now you're just gone. They leave a camera facing the direction of the noise and walk away. The camera starts to move on its own even though it is on a well-balanced tripod. Some shadows move in front of the camera at 14 minutes and 45 seconds, and then the camera falls over. They've caught enough paranormal evidence on camera to convince me that this forest is as haunted and scary as the legends say. A YouTuber named Jay Katera lives outside of an Air Force base somewhere in the southeast Michigan. He has been seeing some strange things in the sky lately, so he decides to point his security camera straight up and live stream. Not too long after, he captures this strange sighting. Jake Atera isn't sure if this is an alien UFO, a secret government project, or some sort of paranormal orb, but he is sure that it was scanning the ground as if it was looking for something. 
Let me know if you have a reasonable explanation for this or if you've seen anything that looks similar, especially if you live in the same state as the cameraman. Would you dare to step foot in a house where someone's life was taken? The YouTube team from the New Reality Paranormal are investigating this cabin buried deep in the woods. When they first ask the spirits a question through the spirit box, they get a quick response. Is there a man here? You, I think we heard you. Here. What did it say? It said here. It said here. Here now? It's yeah. only? The spirits then tell the guys what they need. Please help. That's what it said. It said please, it said, help. please help. The team also discovers that the spirit passed away in a strange way. How did you die? Did he say cat? Did he say cat? It <laughs> said cat. It said cat. Was a cat really the culprit? As they're waiting for more communication in one room, they get some REM pod action in another. Thank you. Then the cat ball goes off elsewhere. All right, we are back on three, two, one. Oh, the cat ball! Oh, the cat! I got it. The cat ball's going off, and and the and the REM pod at the same time. Is the spirit trying to warn them about the cat that took his life? It sure seems like it. I have chills right now, bro. It's going off again, bro. Hi. I'm looking right at it, dude. Oh my god. They ask, and they get a direct answer. Are you a cat? If you're a cat, can you touch that? There it is. Look at it. Oh my god. As the cat ball continues to go off, they hear a disembodied voice. Please tell me you heard that. Please tell me you heard that. It, it was a voice, dude. When they do the Estes method, they're given this ominous message. So, my soul. They later head outside, and the spirits can't keep up with them. Should they really wait for him? I don't know. The spirit could be the victim, or it could be the life taker. Either way, I don't think I'd take my chances. This video, taken from a YouTuber named Finder Lurker, is from 2005. He is certain of a paranormal entity frequenting an area of the house that no one uses, so he sets up a camera and leaves. In the beginning of the video, you can see these two small eyes in the background, which is definitely weird. But it's nothing compared to what happens next. Arms appear from all sides, and then this head pokes out from around the corner. Its eyes white pinpricks of light and nothing more. One arm stays above them as if waving hello. It quickly disappears from wherever it came from, and then the camera begins to shake, eventually becoming dislodged and toppling over. It does feel a little too set up in my opinion, but whether all of this was an actual ghost or just some kids messing around is ultimately up to you to decide. Have you ever dreamt that you found someone in your bed? But when you pulled the covers away, there was no one there. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Bobby G01, the uploader writes, She plays this off as a joke, but I find it quite weird. The quite weird joke was posted to TikTok originally by TJY. In the video, she says she just came into her room, and it literally looks like there's someone lying in her bed. She keeps saying ew as she approaches the thing, not knowing if indeed there is someone underneath. As she steps closer, Ew! No! Ew! Ew! Oh my god, is there someone there? No. The hair stands up on the back of your neck. You prepare yourself to have something or someone jump out at you. But when she lifts the blanket, nothing is there. A wave of relief washes over you, and probably her too. Watching it again, it's very strange how a body appears to be lying under the blanket. And when she yanks it from her bed, it doesn't look thick enough to bunch up like that. Hmm. Redditor the classic Drew admits in the comments, If I saw that in real life, I would be so scared. Agreed, I probably wouldn't work up the nerve to approach it. 
A YouTuber named Steve Huff records what he suspects could be a paranormal sighting. At the Long Lead House in England, built in the late 1500s, a spirit descends the steps and then continues to walk in midair in heavy, plodding footsteps. Some people are claiming that this is some kind of hologram projection, while others say this is real. If you've ever been to the Longleat House in England, then let us know if this is just a tourist attraction so we can settle the rumors once and for all. While exploring deep inside the Cave of Mounds, YouTuber Near Shadow starts to hear whispers. Listen closely. Oh, your light, hold on. What was that? What was that? What is that? Hello? Later, you can definitely hear a child's voice in this larger cavern. Yeah, it looks like it's like gonna fall. Look. It does. This is cool. Yeah, is there so much moisture that you like you don't know like look how wet that is and then you can't The team doesn't appear to hear this in the moment. To me the voice sounds a lot louder than the earlier whispers. Is there a child spirit trapped in the cave of mounds? I think it's time to send in the cave divers. When somebody finds a spider in their home. Some people would swat it on the spot with the nearest object, while others would try to find some way to let it go outside. Then there are a small percentage who would grab a camera and let the spider crawl all over them, like Fayo 3 here. Oh yeah. I got a spider crawling on me. He never intended for the arachnid to take a detour across his throat and then stamp its way across his face. He manages to stay calm and only has one thing to ask. And it's crawling on my face, isn't it? Why yes, yes it is. Right towards your ear hole, unfortunately. Thinking fast, he tries to divert the spider away from his ear, but ends up encouraging it to almost burrow straight inside. He is so lucky that the spider decides not to do that, because that would have been a horrible trip to the hospital for sure. Not that having a spider in your hair is any consolation prize, but you get what I mean. YouTuber Adam Mark explores this abandoned mansion. The owner passed away, leaving everything behind. After a while, the place became frozen in time. A little spiraling staircase. You can see the decay on the walls. All the paint peel. Carpet's quite trodden in. Bit grimy. See all the marks up the walls. Which lets me think it has been abandoned a while. The cupboards are full of items that no one will ever read. But everything is just completely full. Everything's left behind in this one. Old video camera there, look. <laughs> Very strange. Adam breaks out the K2 and gets some readings in certain parts of the house. Alright, so we're getting little bits. There we go, here we go. Summit down here. Look at this. Oh my god. Guys. Look at this. Using another paranormal device, Adam is directly warned by the spirit. Are you the spirit that passed away here? <gasps> Listen to that exactly where I thought it would go, by the guitar. Yep. And then he sees something unexplainable. Did you just show your hand around that wall? Guys, this is so weird. I uh, one million percent have just seen it. It was like a hand reaching around that wall there. Are Adam's eyes playing tricks on him? I don't think so. This one looks like a real gut punch of fear. Considering this along with all of the spirit communications, I feel that the residents are here after all. If you've ever had something in your home act out of character, then you might feel Alex Huff's pain. The TikToker appears to be doing an everyday makeup tutorial when her wardrobe starts to creak open. I use the Milani 05 Soleil. So I'm going to try that on. And... and then suddenly slams shut and bursts open again. 
The room's light above goes out and then, as she's peering into the wardrobe, that light falls dim as well. Alex posted a second video showing that no one is inside or outside the wardrobe and yet it's creaking again. In the third video, she's getting her room sage to get rid of whatever evil entity lies within. Burning sage is said to provide a spiritual cleansing for the home. Hopefully it did rid of the bad energy and Alex can go back to doing her makeup tutorials in peace. Based on the events happening here though, I wouldn't be surprised if that house is legitimately haunted. Lately, Louise Paxton has been scared out of her mind while staying alone at her house. She says that every night a tall man dressed in all black stands outside of her door without saying a word. Now he's back. She goes to call the police, only to find her cell phone has not been charged. At this point, Louise feels enough is enough, blade in hand. The terrified woman unlocks the door and confronts her stalker for a final showdown. She swings open the door and finds absolutely nothing on the other side. The wind picks up and howls down a cold, empty alleyway. Judging by this video evidence, it looks as though this person is an incredibly sly stalker. In which case, I'm sure her problems are only just about to begin. I hope she's alright, but it's been a long time since she's posted anything to her channel. Kriparian is live streaming some Hearthstone when he gets into a scary Twitch moment that has his subscribers screaming that there's a ghost in the window. The unknown person leaves for a bit and then comes back only to open the door and help himself to something right by the door. Within three seconds, he is gone again. She worries my bag. Where's the bag? Knowledge is. His girlfriend goes out to investigate and finds them with a bag in one of the other rooms. They told her they thought it was theirs, but it's pretty clear from the sarcasm. And Kriparian's reply that he doesn't believe them at all. Oh, they thought it was their bag. Oh, yeah. So this is one of the most popular and often talked about scary Twitch moments in the history of the platform and yet a lot of people still don't know the full story. He was at a gaming event and apparently the person at the window was another live streamer who was actually hanging out with them earlier. If you look really closely, he does seem to put his hand up and knock on the glass at 25 seconds to try and get their attention. Nobody hears him though, so rather than disturb the live stream any further, he quietly opens the door and takes what he thought he left behind. I really doubt that anyone would be foolish enough to take something from a popular live streamer who is blatantly live streaming to thousands of people. So it seems like a simple case of miscommunication that was later blown way out of proportion by the internet. John Cater carefully combs through his home looking for the source of what he can only describe as a creepy noise. One second the room will be completely silent. Look at and the next minute, it sounds like some kind of grinding noise that could drive somebody insane over time. Oh my god. It isn't insects either, because listen to how quickly it goes away. Oh my god. John eventually traces the noise back to a dark room that he has never really paid any particular attention to before, and apparently something in there wants to keep it that way. It looks like an invisible force slams the door shut from the other side, and we never do get to see what was down there with him, if anything. A YouTuber named David Rebordeo hears noises coming from an attic and decides to go up and investigate for himself. Here you can see they are both far away from the source of the noise, and they're not pretending to hear something. <laughs> David videos the upstairs for a while and doesn't come across much. He passes the camera and starts to climb down the ladder. 
All of the sudden, the equipment makes a buzzing sound not found in any other part of the video. That's when the noisemaker reveals itself and nearly makes physical contact. <laughs> It's hard to say if this was a person or some sort of ghostly ghoul. The buzzing noise makes me think that this was a paranormal disturbance, but I guess this could have been CGI so let me know what you think it was. This underwater video was shot abroad the EV Nautilus, a famous research vessel owned by the same person who found the sunken Titanic. Little does the crew know they are moments away from yet another mystifying discovery, this time in the Gulf Coast of Mexico. Off in the distance, they spy a giant creature coming at them fast. You can hear both surprise and fear in their voice as they order the captain to retreat. What? Or it could be fishing line. You don't want that. Back up. Back up. Huge siphonophore. It could be. Yeah. What looks like a long, floating rope of intestine is actually a creature known only as a siphonophore. I'm not sure if it is being carried by the currents or moving on its own, but at one point it does come close to the team and almost seems to demonstrate a limited degree of curiosity as it hovers nearby. If you think this particular specimen is large, they can actually grow to be hundreds of feet long. Saphinophores are carnivores, but thankfully for us humans, this one seems to prefer the bottom of the ocean floor, far away from where we tend to swim. The last thing you'd want for your Burger King chicken nuggets is a ghost playing with them, but we don't always get what we want. YouTuber Karaoke Batman shares the security footage of a supposed phantom playing around in this Burger King kitchen. Watch behind the worker. Like. Something threw a basket of chicken nuggets from the counter behind him. Watch again closely. <laughs> oh my god. Like. Since we can't see where the basket of nuggets fell from, I don't know if it simply toppled over or if some mysterious being threw it. I think we'd need further evidence of ghostly activity to draw any sort of conclusion on this one. A ghost hunting channel in Portugal called Supernatural Persecution is attempting to solve an unexplained mystery that's been haunting locals for years. According to legend, this haunted place in the dark creepy woods is where a bride-to-be once threw herself on to train tracks after discovering her fiancé was unfaithful. Ghost sightings have occurred ever since and few dare to explore here because so much has already gone wrong. While walking down the long forgotten path, flanked by scary woods on both sides, they think they hear something. Why? Scary voices and other weird noises from within the haunted woods. The ghost bride is near as the ghost hunters squint into the darkness. A mysterious figure, an apparition, crosses their path and leaves them absolutely terrified. The possible sighting of a ghost wearing a white bridal gown, well creepy, could also be someone in black clothes holding a white sheet over their head to create the illusion of a long flowing headdress. It's too far away to tell for sure. Likewise, this alleged ghost voice sounds more like one of their friends rather than something supernatural wailing in anguish. But even though I'm not fully convinced, this paranormal evidence has thousands convinced that it's real, so maybe I'm wrong. Is this the portal to the fiery depths below? The team from Proving Demons thinks so. In this scary video, they're screaming back in the screaming house. As they prepare to communicate with the spirits, the spirits get there first. I'm, I'm not ready for this, but let's just do it. Oh, why is it starting? Why is it starting? Do you know what I'm about to do? Do you actually know what I'm about to do? The device was triggered and then a tap is heard, and now it's time for a scream with an Aztec whistle. In the distance, they hear something. What the f? 
sounds like the death whistle. What's that? That sounds like the death whistle. Sorry, Are you sorry, recording? Someone's right? outside. Someone's outside. Someone's outside. Someone's outside. Are you recording? Yes. So it's, it's not just playing. Are the spirits screaming back? They switch places to see if they're hearing the same thing. You blow on the top. Purse your lips around the top and blow into it with the megaphone in front of it. On a recording device, they hear the spirit laughing. Maniacal laughing. Is it laughing at their games? To me, the retaliatory screaming following the whistle does sound like someone is screaming back, but this laughter is the most unsettling part of the investigation in my opinion. This unsolved CCTV video shows a man struggling to drag something heavy down the steps late at night. As he makes a turn, you can see he's pulling a black bag that's quite large out of view. While this is happening, somebody who is staying late at the office happens to see him, which is how I guess this videotape was reported and later archived for further investigation. Nothing else happens until 42 minutes later when the incident repeats itself. The creepy man drags another mysterious black bag down the steps and out the door. At 10 seconds, you get a better look and it definitely looks like a garbage bag to me. I really hope that this person wasn't dragging two people out, but that's exactly what it looks like happens. Maybe there's a good alternate explanation, but I have no idea why this guest would wait until the middle of the night to remove these objects from his room and never return. There's an abandoned house deep in the forests of Malaysia that was once owned by a kindly elderly man who threw large parties and enjoyed the company of everyone, but one day he mysteriously passed away, and in his place moved in rough and mean squatters who used the happy home for their own dark rituals. Now a team of paranormal investigators are looking to see how well these conjuring rites have worked. You're going to hear a noise after the footstep. Is this an animal or someone crying out loud? If it is an animal, we never hear it again, and it isn't long before they find a voodoo doll made from twisted wood scraps. It looks like it took a long time to make and is probably infused with arcane magic. There's a large wooden stick jabbed through its foot, so I think it's been used, but does it work is the question. They don't stick around and leave before whoever made it returns. A reminder that you never know what or who is behind you. This short clip will have you looking over your shoulder. The video shows a man entering a small elevator. A ghostly woman enters slightly behind him. You can see her in the mirror, distracted on his phone. The man doesn't seem to notice he has company, but when he turns around, the woman has vanished. He is alone in the lift, or at least appears to be. Those in the comments are dying to know where the phantom stalker went and whether or not this man made it out of the elevator. I hope he's alright, but it's really not looking like that's the case. It's late at night and YouTuber Molly the Leg is the only car on the road. When he sees something that doesn't make sense, follow the curvature of the road and look in the distance to see it. What's that? What? What? I, I saw somebody on a bicycle or something like that. Up ahead, Molly the Leg sees a bright light cross the road and then suddenly disappear. What's also strange is how the street lights start flickering when this happens. He has no idea what the moving light was. It couldn't have been a car because there was nowhere for vehicles to go but straight. Molly the Leg even used Google Maps to verify this. So I'm at a complete loss. In some parts of the world, it's customary to never put your shoes on in a hurry. Here's why. How are you doing, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
A large snake has coiled up in the toe of his shoe and refuses to get out. If he had put it on without looking, then the snake would have no doubt defended itself. He says that this is a non-venomous juvenile rat snake, and I wanted to know if this is an accurate description. I see no bright markings, so I would say he's at least right about the non-venomous part. He gets it out using a hook they keep around just for this purpose and does not seem too worried about it, but as far as I'm concerned, any snake in my shoe should be considered highly dangerous. After watching this creepy video, I might start checking my shoes each time before I put them on. Most unidentified flying objects involve blinking lights. This one has no light, which perhaps adds to its mystery. Published by Bird in June of 2021, this mysterious video captured a triangular-shaped unidentified flying object in the sky over Shanghai, China, which caused some speculation on the internet. The dark triangle was captured overhead in multiple videos, piercing through the clouds or smog as they shift past. Oh. According to Burbex, some of this footage was filmed from the Panorama Hotel, and in the video, he is on a mission to solve the mystery. He heads to the hotel where an unusual number of police and security officers are gathered outside, but there reportedly was an alleged gas leak on the next street over. Burbex heads inside and up to the 27th floor where one of the videos was filmed. Looking over the bund, it's hard to imagine what could have projected that triangle into the sky. Burbex then talks with other Shanghaiers who spotted the mysterious, unidentified flying object. One of them shows the photo he captured on camera from below. Low. He notes that the shape of the building is a triangle and there are lights on the top of the building. <laughs> When the lights are cast upward and clouds are overhead, the lights bounce off of them, creating the triangular image in the sky. Although some might be disappointed that this isn't an unidentified flying object, for others, solving this mystery is incredibly satisfying. This video posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Exploring with Eric is another random Randonautica adventure. Only this adventure took its victims somewhere that no one would choose to end up, the abandoned site of a witch's ritual. Eric writes, Myself and Veronica unexpectedly found a ritual site and it was beyond disturbing. Directed by the app into the middle of nowhere at night, the pair wander through the wilderness to the random destination set out for them and arrive at an old rocky structure that looks like it's been around for a good while. The abandoned site is littered with recognizable graffiti alongside symbols that aren't so recognizable. Although the place appears to have been frequented by others, Others. These others may not have all been innocent random randonauticers or taggers, but rather more nefarious individuals. After exploring an enormous empty tank outside, they head inside the stone structure. This is where things get freaky. Inside is a bizarre and creepy site. Encircled by a red ring with votive candles surrounding it, they discover a piece of paper scrunched up on the floor. As they attempt to unfurl it to see what's written, they keep hearing things. Veronica says it sounds like someone laughing. They decide to leave, but they take the paper with them. Once in the car, they open it and find the message is written in Spanish. According to YouTuber Luisa Gutierrez, it reads in English, It's a trap. My spirit Marlene here. Please say my name three times. There also appears to be a date at the end. What does it all mean? Eric and Veronica may have just cursed themselves. Paranormal investigator Tim Morozov has experienced his fair share of demon encounters over the years, but this is probably one of the most terrifying. What you're about to see is a demon trying to take Tim's soul. First, the demon shows its disdain for knock-knock jokes. <laughs> Oh, my God.
Then it confronts him. It then speaks to him. This demon clearly wants him gone, and Tim finally heeds his warning. I think it's very smart of him to have gotten out when he did, considering this demon's level of aggression. I always find his videos compelling, but this one especially has me on edge. Solo trekking in the forest, YouTuber Furry Psycho captured a terrifying creature on camera. Shared by YouTube channel Breakman, this video is trending in the Spanish speaking YouTube community. Watch as the cameraman scans the trees. A robed figure is watching him, its arms wrapped tightly in its robe. At first, the creature appears to be faceless with a hood, but as the cameraman gets closer to the mysterious figure, you can make out indistinct features and white hair. Beberapa detik saja kayaknya, dan perubahannya bisa bisa uh, bisa teman-teman lihat sendiri. Oke, ini saya udah deket banget, saya agak. The figure also appears to be still at first, but from another angle, it looks like it's moving. What might this creature be? Actually, uh, this does look quite realistic to me, but I'll have to see its hopping skills to be made a true believer. Either way, if I saw this thing while walking in the forest, I'd turn around and never come back. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.